Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the ESL Aerial Cup number two. This is a 1v1 tournament, and boy, do we have a treat in store today. My name is Shalthus, and today I am joined by the one and the only Doomsy hey, from hello. Team Rocket. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm alright, I'm not too bad, not too bad. Are you ready? You ready to witness the pro <laughs> of Rocket League casting? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> nah, you'll nah. teach me, you'll just, I'll, I'll feed off your energy. I'll feed off your energy. Yes, I, I am I'll ready. Just... I am definitely ready. Ooh. And it looks like uh, we're heading straight into, into action. So I'm going to get make sure we're getting in on this thing. Ooh. But yeah, we've got a lot of... Uh, I think a lot of pretty good players here in this tournament. Should make for some at least interesting games. And we're going to kick things off with uh, Linkaroo Get from Yumai Zero. And that, go figure. I type that all in and then hit cancel. That's how I, that's how I roll. All right. It's supposed to be the professional here, Chalthus. <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah. You let, let it down. I'm the one who makes the mistakes here. <laughs> oh, no. You'll figure out real quick, I make plenty of mistakes. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and switch into the game view. I think we're about to start here pretty soon. So, yeah, for anybody who is just tuning in or has never seen this particular tournament before, again, it is a 1v1 tournament. Uh, it is best of three all throughout. So... Fairly nice, compact, short little series. Easy to watch. But uh, not a lot of margin for error for the players, at least. You drop one and you are immediately on the back foot and about to get ousted, so. Yes. I didn't know it was a best three until about five minutes ago, so. <laughs> I was like, these these, uh, these rounds are going quite quickly. Why is, why is 3v3 or so not like this? And then I was like, oh, it's actually a best of three. That makes sense. So, yeah. Should yeah, but so. Yeah, it'll be quick, but it'll be good. Uh, last week, we did see TJ Shorty and uh, Ganorf in the final. And it was uh, TJ Shorty who ended up winning that tournament in the third game. So he is still in this one. Ganorf is not participating this week. But that's okay, because we've still got a lot of other good players in here. Yes. And it will be interesting to see. So now, all right, looks like they have finally jumped in. And now we just wait on the scoreboard. Oh, I was pressing out. Where's the scoreboard? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. So Linkaroo taking on Recovery. This should be, I would say, pretty fun to watch. You know, we, I think a lot of our folks here who are pretty familiar, at least with Linkaroo, from UMI Zero. I've certainly cast a boatload of his matches. <laughs> so we'll hang out with him first, I think. I think we seems to be doing the old-fashioned left-right trick. <laughs> Taking the boost. Yeah, a good little bit of uh, kind of early ball control here, trying to find an opening to get past recovery, and a good dribble there right off the bat. Linkaroo, very nice goal, just puts it in right over recovery's head. If we watch this one more time, little dribble, recovery can't quite keep up with it. It was bound to go in, but Linkaroo just gave it that one little final nudge for insurance purposes. <laughs> just make to make sure, sure it's <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I, I have a great time watching these 1v1 games because it's it's certainly less chaotic than a 3v3. Mm. Uh, and a lot yeah, easier to... Uh, 1v1s are very controlled and uh, they're very mind game based. So you've got to... So some players just go all out hitting the ball as hard as they can and you know that can come up to bite them. But sometimes you just got to be very calculated and wait for your opponent to make that mistake or the patient game yeah exactly you, you certainly see that happen a lot in 1v1 and the, the game will change pace really quickly because once a player finds an opening they'll suddenly take off and go shooting downfield other times it'll slow down a lot like how it's doing right now mm. just a little bit of dribbling a little bit of a uh, play here just to try and lure their opponent out into making some kind of move but once that opening's found it goes supersonic, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes the dribble. Oh. Get over cover with the defense there. Is he supposed to be uh, 
I thought at the beginning it'd be Link would be quite, uh, you know, with, uh, would have the most ball possession at the moment, but it seems like in the last 30 seconds that recovery seems to have recovered, shall we say. Well, I just <laughs> as I say that, there goes the... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good old caster curse, that's, uh, <laughs> that's how it works out. As soon as you start talking positively about a player, they end up getting scored on. I have so much yeah, power. I yeah, time of possession certainly seems to be in Link Roo's favor, at least overall thus far. But uh, really, it's all about just taking advantage of those openings, you know? Even if you hold the ball for a long time, if you can't put it in net, it doesn't really matter how long you have the ball for. <laughs> but Link Roo looks to be in pretty, pretty good control of this game so far. Yeah, he seems to, uh, he seems to uh, be more dominant player in terms of just being faster to the ball. Recovery seems to be playing more patiently, but it doesn't seem to be working entirely in his favor because he's just, he's not picking his moments entirely right, just like that. Yeah. Makes you a bit of a defensive <laughs> error. Yeah, big lapse in judgment there. Linkeru takes to the sky. Well, we don't need to see it, but we know what happened. <laughs> we saw it the first time. <laughs> the replay is in your mind. But oh, it's such a bad habit skipping replays in 1v1s. <laughs> it's just like, well, I think everyone saw what happened, you know, let's just skip the replay. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, so far, Linkaroo is just pretty much dominant in this game. Uh, and yeah, I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that he's keeping recovery from really establishing any sort of attack. Every time he tries, he quickly disrupts it and spends most of his time on the attack, so all that recovery can afford to do is hang back and try to stop the inevitable. Exactly. I think uh, I think it just comes down to Link is a bit just quite a lot faster than recovery. He seems to wait too long before making uh, just like then. He waits a bit too long before attacking the ball, and uh, Link just has a little bit extra time to you know chip it over him or get it around him. Yeah, very true. Could be a lot of just that overall skill factor. You know, I'm not totally familiar with recovery, but I am vastly familiar with Link Roo, so certainly know where his skill level is at. Oh, this could be an opening though here for oh. recovery and just can't get it on point. Isn't that the worst? <laughs> <laughs> you, you got an open go and you just can't put it in. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Wide open, couldn't quite do it. Oh, oh it's that one. I think we said it as well. This is that was it. That was it. <laughs> that, that's, yeah, that, that's even worse when you've got you got the old blinky ball, and it just can't go in, but Recovery had the perfect chance to, to be a hero there and stop that sixth goal, but did not actually get to it in reasonable time. So, no luck there. The gap widens even further, coming down to the final minute and a half, and not really seeing anything out of Recovery that I think is going to challenge Linkaroo here, so he might have an easy road into the next round look like at, at the moment. There Seems to be a lot of uh, 1v1s are very much, there's a lot of times where it's just two, like right now, two players just kind of very slowly hitting the ball back and forth, a few feet at a time. Yeah, all about picking your moment and uh, really creating it sometimes. Mm. And it can be it can be interesting to watch, especially when you get two really top tier 1v1 players in there and just see the kind of ball control they demonstrate. <laughs> How many times does Linkery want to put the ball right on the goal line? <laughs> I'm starting to think he's doing it on purpose now. He might be, he's just rubbing <laughs> it in now. Yeah, yeah, this, <laughs> this goal just felt... I think it's probably the longest Rocket League goal I, I've, I've seen from when it <laughs> hit the line to when it actually crossed. I missed the speed of that. It was about two, three miles per hour. <laughs> and there we go. He's done it. Oh. Recovery's got to go. Recovery has <laughs> given us the Brazil. Oh. Of all things, he has at least given us the Brazil. It's a good play off the kickoff there. Got under uh, Linkaru there to get the ball on the other side. But while we appreciate the Brazil, it certainly looks to be too little, too late at this point. Oh. <laughs> and down goes Linkaru. Can he take advantage of it? And the answer is no. Immediately Linkaru is back up. Turns it around. Looks like Linkaru has slowed it down a bit. He's not trying to 
jack up the score any further. I think just Probably to preserve the Brazil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, very easy, convincing win for Link Roo here in Game 1. Not much to say about that one. So, here we'll go into Game 2 here, which, based off what we've seen so far, should be another fairly easy and convincing win for Link Roo. But, you never know. You know, sometimes these Game 2s just kind of come out of nowhere. And, uh, you get some surprising results. Maybe this will be where... This will be the Jekyll and Hyde moment where recovery comes to life and really challenges Linkaroo. Or not. If, there, if there's one man I believe that can do it, it's, it's recovery. It's in his name, you know. It is. That, that <laughs> is actually his purpose. Exactly. Let the recovery begin now. Game two underway. Linkaroo versus recovery. Linkaroo up one game in this best of three, so one more win will send recovery home and send Linkaroo into the next round. Well, we haven't got a goal. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I am, uh, I feel very powerful here right now. <laughs> it's the gift of the caster. You can... I was going to say, you know, 1v1, typically, if there's not a goal in about 20 seconds, usually, uh, it could be quite a close game for the movement as well. Because 1v1s are typically extremely high-scoring games. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Oh, and a really easy bit of jigg jiggling? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Words are hard. Watching, <laughs> <laughs> See? This is what it's like. <laughs> nice little bit of dribbling there by Linkaroo. Floats it right over Recovery's head. and An early two-goal deficit does not bode well for the recovery of Recovery. Yeah, hopefully uh, we can do something here. But it does look like it might be a repeat of the... Uh, first game. This isn't too surprising. Yeah, certainly not a shock, especially after the result we just saw. Um, you know, it just looks like Recovery is having a difficult time really attacking the ball, and there's a distant shot. Linkaroo puts it in from I think just about halfway, well behind halfway actually, yeah. About three quarters of the way downfield. Nice little high arcing sniper shot. And uh... Yeah, another three-goal lead in the very early goings. Looks like that'll be quickly extended here. Oh, okay, that was just beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to watch that from Link's perspective. It was, it, was, it was the way he took it off the wall, just like straight down, carries on the dribble, and then he's already in like supersonic speed within like a second. And uh, I think that was a very lovely goal. He just makes it look effortless. I know, right? He knows what he's doing. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the funny thing too is like you, you never really know um, you know what players in a from really good 3v3 teams aren't necessarily good at 1v1 because it's a oh, yeah. very different type of game and you could have a team that's just outstanding in the threes environment but certain players might not do so well in ones because they just don't they're not that style of player but mm. they fit well in the team environment and there's Link Road dri driving up the score again <laughs> off the wall. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I never really know who, who kind of emerges. I know certain players, like Pashi on Swarm. Very clearly he's a, you know, big 1v1 player. Uh, mm. Kronovi, obviously another one. Um, but other than that, you know, there, there's a few other names. But generally it's hard to say until you actually see them in the 1v1 environment. Mm. You, you, I mean, you typically, from my experience, you typically have two types of 1v1 players. Uh, in the top tier, who are there's one who's the the patient game, which is what Linkru uh, he usually does, but he doesn't really need to do it in this game. <laughs> is where you just kind of wait for your players to uh, do their thing, and then you just capitalize on their mistakes. And the other one is you take complete control of the ball and you just go for as many shots as you can and risk the mistakes, which if works which works fine if you're very accurate. Yeah, and I, we've certainly seen a lot of that. You know, obviously not thus far, but uh, in this tournament from last week, we got a taste of, of both of those types, I'd say. Um, oh, the BM. The turtle. <laughs> Link, we're just rubbing it in now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's just like, that's, that's like rule number five, is it? You know, in a 1v1, whenever, whenever you can, do a turtle in uh, the pool. 
think it's just a... Yeah, I, I, I think that's fair. <laughs> that's you what know. you got to do, really. The, the opportunities to get a turtle goal are not very frequent, so take them when you can get them, for sure. Definitely. But already back up to a 7-0 scoreline. This was the point where Recovery got his first goal in the last game. Uh, and then that was it. I would be no. surprised if Big just wanted to score an own goal here for, for Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Could be, or at least maybe not try so hard, but no, I think he might be... Oh, no, never mind. I, I think I, he is. He just did a really good touch there, a really good dribble. He could have he could very much scored, and then uh, yeah. it's it's. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was definitely an opportunity to score that he just decided to send to the wall, so... <laughs> I, I think... He, I don't know if he's willing to own goal necessarily, but I think he's waiting for recovery to actually make a play that he can kind of let happen. Yeah. Like now. Exactly. He just slowed yeah. down, <laughs> turned around, got the boost. <laughs> oh. We read we read you like a book, Blue Crew. He just, he was he just hit it to the side of a corner to hit it away from the opponent's goal. He knows what he's doing. He wants that Brazil. Well, is he now is he gonna hold on for the Brazil for the entire match or is he gonna maybe just go for an eight one? Uh, you know, from what I'm seeing so far, it looks like he's just playing keep away. Yeah, he's he's kind of putting the ball. He's making it look like he's trying, but you can kind of tell he's just playing a bit of keep away, holding on to this Brazil. It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what he's doing right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this must be so annoying for recovery. He's trying to get a goal, or just trying to do something, and he's just Linku just keeping the ball away from him. <laughs> exactly what's happening this is just a a long game of keep away and that's where the skill differential comes in again <laughs> a little bit of touch soaring by oh right, and he, he lost it it was, a, it was a good run good run in the keep away there but yeah clearly just preserving the brazil wants back-to-back -back brazils here to move to the next round and it looks like he's gonna get it because unless linkaroo wants him to score he's not gonna score he's having a hard enough time making contact with the ball Without Linkaroo letting it happen, so. Yes, I think it's harder to uh, not score or concede than it is to just score loads of goals if you're against the. Uh, if you're winning already, quite comfortably. Yeah, I think I agree with that. It, it definitely takes a bit of that extra skill to kind of either play the keep away game or just have that extra bit of ball control, but. Well, there you have it. Easy win for Linkaroo takes the series in two games, both of them via the Brazil. So. Yes, yeah, the double Brazil. Actually, you don't see that every day, but Linkry wanted it, clearly. In oh, yeah, he, and he made it happen. I think that was just his intent going in. He's like, oh, I can get the Brazil one time. I'll get it another time. Why not? Well, all right, so good start to today. Bit of a one-sided affair so far, but, hey, we've got... Uh, We've still got time. I'm sure, you know, we're in the early goings of the bracket. So as we narrow the field down, we'll start to get the more consistently better players. But uh, let's do a quick check and see where we can head next. Because um, we've, had, we've had a few of the early games in this tournament were actually certainly must-watch games. But they happened so early that, you know, we weren't here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you never know. We could still be surprised. Just because we're not totally familiar with every single player in this tournament doesn't mean there's secretly somebody good oh yeah I mean there's a lot of people here I don't know but but there I, I mean even in like 3v3s just random people come out and we just like oh we don't know them hopefully this should be okay and then they just suddenly come like taking games of us and we're like uh oh okay they're, they're actually good so <laughs> happens quite a lot yeah especially now like this particular point in Rocket League we're starting to see you know more of these players from within Rocket League emerge because it started off with just the whole Battle Cars crew kind of rolling in and dominating the scene, dominating the competitive side. Um, but now, as the game is going, we're certainly getting more and more of is that like players who started with Rocket League becoming more proficient and and really challenging the top level. Oh yeah. It's getting uh, closer, at least. <laughs> oh, definitely. I mean, there's, uh, there's uh, quite a few like players and teams who are like in the top ranks who just never really touched 
battle cards, so never heard of it. And they just suddenly shut up because they just picked out quickly. So they uh, do surprise us quite a lot. Yeah, I'm thinking a few more months we'll start to see a much broader and much more, even more competitive scene. I mean, you, you can see it right now. While the very, very top is pretty hard to crack right now, you've mm -hmm. got everything below that constantly in flux. Like, you and I both know, especially from the EU scene, considering we do the power rankings every week, we know how hard it can be yeah. once you get past, like, the first five teams, the rest is just, who knows? It's just pure <laughs> chaos. <laughs> it is. It, it's, it's, it's just madness. Yeah. I mean, that, that should balance out over time, obviously. So, But then it'd be good, because it'd be a nice mix of battle cards, vets, and new players to the game. Should be good. Yeah, I think so too. You know, it'll just be nice to have that variety in there. Mm. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, Nightbot is having his way with Mike Rules right now. Uh, yeah, I haven't looked at chat. <laughs> I, I've kind of looked at chat a few times, and it's just been God only knows what's going on in there right now. But hi, everybody! <laughs> Banning show at the moment. Yeah, Nightbot's going a little mental. I don't know, I don't know what Mike said, it might have deserved it. <laughs> Maybe. Speaking of Mike rules, while we're waiting on this next game, I think we're going to try to get in with uh, what looks to be a round of 32 game here. Uh, Deska Del Hado and TJ Shorty yes. should be a round of 32 game. I mean, we're waiting on the official result of TJ Shorty and Skenzi, but uh, again, TJ Shorty is your returning champion, so... Probably most likely to advance to the next round. Um, but that has not updated in the bracket yet. So I'm waiting on the admins to get back to that. But while we're doing that, we'll take a quick look at the chat here and say hi. Uh, why is it just Doomsy and not Ryan Doomsy Graham? Um, yeah. yeah, what's up with that I, show? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, want me, you want me to fix it? I can fix it. I can oh, yeah. fix it right now. Let's do it. Here. I'll, I, I don't even have Photoshop open. That's that's what I get. I do all my stuff in Photoshop. That's just that's what the my it's just how I roll. All right, here we go. MS Paint. <laughs> yeah, MS Paint. Yeah. My exactly. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm gonna take care of business. Got to remember that extra E. Yeah, oh, I, don't, I wish there was a way I could just make that too easy, but someone's took that ages ago. So it's quite annoying. But it's fine, because if you type Doomsy normally, then it will come up autocorrect with, like, Doomsy. I'm like, okay. Alright. The image has been updated. So, I think now... There you go. Alright. Better. Yay. <laughs> now we now we match. It all works out. <laughs> all right. Hopefully everybody's happy now. So that's all sorted. Well, who was it that brought up? Who was it? Oh, I don't know. Somebody was oh. yelling about it, being very vocal. <laughs> Someone really wanted to change. It was fresh, funky. Mama is back. That's that's who wants it. Ah. Okay. So, well, I'm glad I go. could fulfill, <laughs> make those dreams come true. I'm really glad I could. So. Let's see, what else is going on here? I'm going to check in on with these chat people. Figure while we're waiting. It's better than just going to an ad break. Yeah, play some other music. You know? I, I can see that my, uh, my subscribers uh, are starting to take advantage of the brand new Mike Rules emote, which has oh, been yeah. added to the, to the channel. That got approved yesterday, or late last night. Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry that it's <laughs> it looks too normal. <laughs> My apologies. You sent me that picture, yeah, so yeah. You, how could you be blamed for that? Mike's the one who's got a poor face. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're the one who did it. <laughs> Roger Shelf says, "Notice me, senpai." So there you go. I've noticed you. So there you go. Yeah, I, I don't know if anybody was. Uh, I, I mean, there might not be a lot of people who were actually in the. Uh, I think it was Fireburner's chat. Or stream last night, um, oh, but conversation has begun 
for a future shoutcast featuring myself and Mike Rules. So <laughs> I look forward to that. We're <laughs> working out the logistics at this point, but uh, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of people who would be really interested in seeing that particular shoutcast take place. But before then, tomorrow, I will say, uh, I'm going to be shoutcasting with somebody you know quite well, and I think a lot of other people do. Cool, cool. He's that guy. He's that guy. <laughs> yeah, who is that guy? <laughs> yeah, I will be shoutcasting the uh, 2v2 Midweek Madness Tournament with Cool Cole starting tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. Man, I've got to do a better job than him. Do... <laughs> I've got to my game now. I've got to my this game. Is... I've got to yeah. cast this... better than him. This is it. This is your time to shine because <laughs> if, you, if you don't do it now, he's going to show you up tomorrow. <laughs> no, I can't have that. Not at all. Not. But, uh, yeah, we've got some very interesting things in the works. But it looks like we are ready for the next game. So let me make sure I can actually get in here. But, yeah, TJ Shorty and Deska Del Hado. Yeah. I wanted to watch this one. Should be good. I did, too. I just wasn't sure how quickly it was going to be done. <laughs> sure. that's, that's the difficult part with... Uh, this sort of thing, when you cast online tournaments like this, it's all about timing. You know, you've got to try and figure out and calculate exactly where the timing is. Yeah. And it is not easy sometimes, because sometimes you'll end up with huge gaps between games, sometimes you'll end up with, you know, no gap, and immediately have to hop to the next one, so you don't even have a chance to breathe. But... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's all uh, run pretty smoothly. From both, I can say, yeah. I'll say from both ends at the moment. Yeah, so far, so good. Okay. Like You're how things are going. Someone, comes in. someone says, uh, hey, <laughs> want to cast? Uh, we need to cast your game. I was like, yeah, sure. Here's the details. Boom. Done. <laughs> yep. Yep. Works out pretty smoothly. But uh, so far, so good. So, uh, yeah, I saw a new sub. Sub hype. Welcome cool. to the uh, new, new Shao Pal. Part of the team. And you can use the, the fancy emotes. See, I, here I was thinking, oh, I'll add these really cool orange and blue flags because it's hard to, you know, have a emote that you can use to root for somebody when you're watching a tournament or something. So I'll just make these. And I figure, oh, people will love that. No, they just want my, Mike's face. That, that's the, <laughs> I think that's the drawing thing. They just want Mike's face. Well, it's the same way people so. sub to Mike because they wanted your face. So. <laughs> he did tell yeah. me that, yeah. There was a lot of interest in apparently my, my little custom emote there, which I'm still, you know... I've obviously embraced it. I've, it's I've, it's become my avatar on Twitter, but uh, <laughs> it still is a little weird, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think because everyone's got to have their face on at some point, you know. Like every Team Rocket, I have all their faces except for your show, you know. <laughs> Mike Squares face, you put your face. You've got to get everyone's faces in, I think. Yeah. Complete. The Everybody gets in at some point. It's mm. just you know the funny. Th it's like I didn't. I don't know where that picture's from. <laughs> you know, apparently some viewer on Mike's stream <laughs> pulled it from one of my streams when I was talking about Flipside and uh, decided, oh, hey, this will make a great emote. And Mike was like, yeah, it'll be great. And then I it just sort of happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, never, I obviously never had a problem with it. Like, I, I have nothing against the emote at all. I never had an issue with it. But uh, when I first saw it and never knew it existed until I saw it, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Just to wake up one morning, see your face there. As this is in the oh, oh, that's, that's, that's something, isn't it? All over my stream. I would be in the middle of casting <laughs> and just all over the place. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you now, here I was thinking that Mike asked you, could you send me a picture of your face? And you were wet up for it. And thought, hell yeah, I'll send in. <laughs> and actually, nope. he just took it from you without asking. <laughs> He just did it. I mean, he felt bad about it after the fact. We, we've talked since, and he was like, you know, I, I kind of realized after the fact that I didn't ask you. <laughs> and I honestly, like I said, I never had an issue with it. I really didn't. Uh, I was kind of flattered, even though it's just it's just weird, man. <laughs> you know? You don't expect to see little tiny versions of your face popping up in your chat when you had no idea it was coming. But uh, I did talk with Mike on his stream. I was in his channel before he got partnered. Um, and we were talking about potential future emotes, because he's a big fan of the phrase, uh, exploiting 
the holes, which is a phrase I used when explaining exploiting holes in defense. But he latched onto that, of course. Uh, <laughs> so we were talking about that. Didn't know his first emote uh, would be my face. But either way, here we go. <laughs> Game one of this series. You want two really competitive players, I think you're going to get it right now. TJ Shorty, last week's champion, taking on Desga Del Hado. So, let's follow our previous champion here. And we'll see what kind of styles we get out of these two players out of this game. Looks like so far it's a lot of just very aggressive long-range shooting. Stuff hasn't slowed down very much here. It's like a 3v3 contained in a 1v1. <laughs> I haven't seen any of these two players playing a 1v1. So, interesting to see what happens. Oh, there nice. We go. Yeah, nice bit of touch there by Desca Del Hado. Gets that early goal. We'll follow him. Oh, no, I was going to follow him, but apparently no. So, whatever. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, nice little bit of contact. Put it to the far side of the goal and just an easy little side swipe to get it in. So, good start for him. Now to see if TJ Shorty can break past that and uh, either tie things up or at least start a comeback of his own. But this is an example of what you were talking about previously, about how this, uh, yeah. you know, the, the goals have not come fast and furious, so it certainly looks like it'll be a much lower scoring game than we saw previously. Oh yeah, you can tell. It's uh, it's it's only it's been one minute, and that's like an eternity in one v one time. So, and it's for only one nil. So, and as I say that, it's oh. two nil. That's three. That's three games in a row now. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> the power. The power I have. <laughs> it is a gift and a curse sometimes. But uh, yeah, another good goal there by Desca Del Hado. We didn't really get a chance to see that one either. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, really, he just came in good, fast on that one. Oh, that was actually slowed down a bit because I thought TJ Shorty was going to be able to float that one in, but did not quite happen. Um, Oh, oh, that's a that nice. Was... Oh, he got to put it in. He's put it. In. <laughs> yeah. I thought. He, I thought you got to be. No, now TJ's gonna get it. But no, that was beautiful. I love that. For for oh, some other players, it. yeah. For some other players, there might be some doubt. But uh, I think once you get past somebody like that, and you got the skill that Desga Del Hado has, uh, that was certainly gonna be a goal. But yeah, pretty pretty good showing so far. A little bit surprising, I thought, to be a little bit closer. But it is just game one, and. You know, sometimes it takes a game to really feel out your opponent, figure out what the approaches you want to take. That could be what we're seeing with TJ Shorty. He might come back in game two and look a little more impressive. Depends. I think it depends entirely how the second half of this game goes. Yes, definitely. I mean, I think uh, it definitely doesn't look as playing the better game, but it hasn't been because of TJ's mistakes. It's He's just been, you know, lobbing him, taking it around him, just generally outplaying him a bit. But it's not it's not majorly. Like TJ can definitely like come back and do something the next game or in the next half of this game, so it'll be interesting to see you know, how he uh, changes his playstyle. Yeah, absolutely. And he will really need to change it up <laughs> if he wants <laughs> to stand a chance kinda of moving forward here. Would be a bit shocking to see him go out in the round of thirty two here, but you know, it's not like he's taking on some Joe Schmo, he is taking on uh, a very skilled pro player. Those of you who don't know, Desca Del Hado does play for Smokin' Rockets. So, team we've seen in the... They are, they are frequently in the top 10, the power rankings, and also place pretty highly in uh, Gfinity. In fact, they play second this past week. I think they lost, like many teams do, to Flipside Tactics. Uh, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah, no shock <laughs> there. Saying somebody lost to Flipside Tactics is like saying that they breathed air. <laughs> 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 it just happens. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're still a you know, really excellent team. Um, we have seen a lot out of them over the f past few months. Yeah, they're definitely, uh, they've been a bit up and down. But I think lately they've been uh, being more up than down, so that's quite nice to see. Yeah, that's uh, true. Big opening there for Desca Del Hado. You can see play now. <laughs> Plays anyway, it off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it doesn't just feel good. They skip replays, and you're the caster. <laughs> yeah, we're we're just gonna have to uh, 
pretend that we see these replays and try to explain them as they happen, I guess. <laughs> we have to shift into complete play-by-play -play mode. But, yeah, this game so far has a pretty good pace to it. You know, Desca Del Hato definitely has this in his grasp. TJ Shorty probably could use at least one goal here just to help start a bit of a momentum shift. But, uh... He's having a hard time getting it past. Yeah, that seems to be picking his moments quite... Yeah, I mean, he's, he's picking his moments quite carefully. But at the same time, TJ is just definitely not uh, seizing the opportunity. So, like, he's not, he's not um, you know... Uh, I can't find the word now. He's not He's not <laughs> counting on uh, Dez's mistakes and, you know, making use of them so much as Dez is the TJ. Which is, like, 80% of a 1v1. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, once you make one mistake, it's pretty much a goal right then and there. So, unlike the oh. team game, you can rely <laughs> on... <laughs> I think now they're just playing out the final few seconds here. Tell you what, 1v1's very interesting, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it. Go on, Des. <laughs> now it's just getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, that is the end of game one. So, very convincing win for Desga Del Hato. He's going to take that into game two here. And, uh, yeah, again, this is only a best of three series. So, once you drop one game, you cannot afford to drop anything else. Else you will be done. <laughs> yeah, that's basically... I mean, TJ had three shots, zero goals... And uh, Dez had nine shots, six goals. So, uh, I mean, that's clear. Yeah. Dez just obviously got way more opportunities. And just kind of went a bit quicker on the ball than TJ did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, far more aggressive. Just far better at being... Yeah, really just attacking the ball, to be honest. He was getting to it a lot better than TJ was. And, uh, like you mentioned earlier, just taking advantage of those mistakes. If you can't do that you're going to have a hard time really doing anything. <laughs> those <laughs> yeah, those exactly mistakes right. dictate the game, so. All right, here we go. Game two. TJ Shorty and Desca Del Hato. One more time, at least. If TJ Shorty can get his stuff together. Oh, trying to bait him out a little bit. Quite work. Good little return shot, but uh, not enough on it to actually put it in the net. In fact, we'll follow Desga Del Hato around a bit here. Oh, nice little cross check by TJ Shorty to take him off the ball, prevent that... Uh, looked like he was trying to pick up the rebound to get the goal off that, but he did send him off the ball. It's def this looks a lot closer than the first game so far. It's almost been a minute, and uh, I haven't had a goal yet. But it does seem to be in the blue side a lot more than the orange at the moment. Yeah, so far. I mean, I will I will say it does look like TJ Shorty is kind of finding his moments a little bit better. Um, he's being a little bit better on the defensive side as well. Oh, yeah. I agree. But neither player really has found an opening in this game yet. That There's a decent <laughs> shot, <laughs> but not quite enough. I thought, that was, I thought that shot was going to go in. That I did a, too. That was pretty precise, yeah. but just a little off. Doing, the, doing wall shots is always extremely risky in a 1v1. No one really does it too much unless it's you're guaranteed that they're not going to be able to save it of some kind. But uh, luckily, Des didn't seize the opportunity. And right now, it looks like finally... TJ Shorty breaks the scoreless streak. Gets first on the board. Still don't need no replays. <laughs> but that's alright. That one was pretty straightforward. Oh, and that was not good off the kickoff. Good opening for TJ Shorty. Extends the lead very quickly. Wow, this is a... Uh, I wouldn't say surprising, but it's good to see it. TJ has uh, adapted well and uh, learned from his prior mistakes, I think. 
Yeah, he's starting to show a little bit more of the TJ Shorty we're used to. You know, I certainly didn't expect a 6-0 scoreline in the last game. Uh, but this is a little bit more in line with what I certainly anticipated from. But a nice goal there by Desga Delgado. If we follow him around here, picks the ball up off the corner and just carries it over TJ Shorty's head. Gets a very tight angle on that. But manages to close this gap just a little bit more. Well, this is a lot closer than I expected, which is <laughs> great to see. Dez is picking his moments, though, but there you go. Oh, There's, that was the, a, There's yep. the miss. Big opening for TJ Shorty. It's yeah, you get him. Uh, <laughs> if Dez scored that, it would have been 2-0, uh, but all he has to do is miss, and he's basically conceded. So... Yeah, those rebounds are so much easier to exploit in a 1v1, especially when you're already behind the ball. And uh, that's where TJ Shorty was, so real easy turnaround there for him. Definitely so. Ooh, a bit of a pinch is going to send that ball all the way to the opposite corner of the field. And that's going to be good for TJ Shorty. Gets that rebound just barely. And will extend his lead even further so that the, the tide has tilted a little bit. TJ Shorty now looking dominant after a 6 0 loss in game one. Yeah, he's definitely living up to his rep of winning. Doesn't want to go out this early on in round 32. But Dez has something to say about that. Oh, that was a beautiful <laughs> one. <laughs> Gorgeous looking goal. We're not going to get to see it again, but it was really nice looking. Hope you saw it the first time. Don't blink, because you're not going to get a second chance to see these goals, folks. Uh, but yeah, that was just really nice looking. Got it around TJ Shorty. And now another opening. Not quite enough behind it. One thing I'm seeing from Desga Del Hado is there's not a lot of you know, force behind his shots. And sometimes it makes it easier for TJ Shorty to get to them. Oh, yeah. I think if he puts a little more behind these shots, it's going to be a lot harder for TJ Shorty to close that gap and actually make the stop, but uh... yeah, he seems to be always in a position where you know the balls are already traveling down, so he can't really get the power that he needs, and uh, maybe not quite the accuracy either, because you know he needs to sometimes get it in the corner if there's someone in goal, which mm. he isn't 100 doing all the time. Oh, that was a risky touch. <laughs> I thought Very I was going to fuck you Yeah, that was uh, nearly a beautiful setup for TJ Shorty. So, not exactly what I think you wanted to have happen there. The gap is still close enough that Desca Del Hado could come back here, but he's really got to start doing it now. And there's a nice shot. If he could take advantage of that opening. Oh, Shorty. Oh, oh no, he couldn't get to it before TJ Shorty could. I think he should have left that boost, in my opinion. Maybe could have done it. Who knows? Yeah, those little moments of regret. <laughs> but final 30 <laughs> seconds. Still enough time, especially in a 1v1. But he's got to score now if he actually wants to uh, do anything with it. And TJ Shorty is actually doing a pretty good job defensively to disrupt these plays and prevent Desca Del Hado from putting anything together. And again, a nice shot on goal gets turned aside. So that will almost assuredly oh. wrap things <laughs> up. One final goal for old time's sake. And that will wrap things up. TJ Shorty will take game two here, so we will go to a deciding game three in just one second or so. And no, now we're in the or one. so. I... No. <laughs> no rule one there. So, all right, that takes care of game two in what has been a very evenly matched contest so far. So we're going to go to a deciding game three. TJ Shorty, Desca Del Hado. This is interesting. Des has nine shots. He has more shots, but less goals, as TJ has six and five. So Des has got more opportunities. He just didn't seize them enough. He uh, didn't seem to... Uh, he wasn't quite as accurate as TJ Shorty. Or TJ Shorty was just a lot more, you know, 
that was a better goalie and more defensive. Yeah, all about just being effective, and that's certainly what TJ Shorty was in that game, much more effective with his shots. But, uh, you know, we've seen what Desca Delgado can bring. We've seen what TJ Shorty can bring. Now we're going into game three. Deciding game. Could be some good timing there for Desca Delgado. Might just get this <laughs> gimme. <laughs> he does. Gimme shot off the kickoff. The timing was just really nice because he came in a little bit behind. And again. Oh, he is timing these kickoffs really well. Because he's coming in just before, just after TJ Shorty does in order to make that kind of contact. And sometimes that works really well instead of just colliding head-on with the ball. Yeah, you gotta. You just want to make your car as big as possible when you're making contact, really. So you get the most air in. That's the, yeah, that is the problem with 1v1. Sometimes you get some annoying kickoff goals. But that is the nature of the game. Yep, you have to be everything and everywhere. <laughs> And if you're not able to do that, then you're probably going to lose. It is a tricky game mode. I think that's what makes it so much fun to watch, is, you know, when those mistakes happen, you know that they're generally going to be exploited unless the opposing player just fails to do so. You know, it's certainly not a fault of, you know, if a ball gets broken past you in a 1v1, if your opponent doesn't put it away, it's their fault because they have clearly <laughs> fouled up in taking advantage of that big mistake. But All right yes. now looking a little bit better for TJ Shorty. Despite those two early kind of gimme goals. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't knock his confidence a little bit or affect his mental game. However, they should probably give... It's always good oh. when you start a game 2-0 and then, you know, now 3-0. Right. Yeah, that was a very nice bit of play. You can see him dribbling up the field here, gets it over TJ Shorty's head, and then plays the rebound off the wall. Right in. Uh, and, and yeah, you were talking about the mental game, and I think that's a huge part of this. You know, the, the two biggest factors, and I've talked about this, you know, in other casts I've done. <laughs> well, there's the fourth goal that kind of illustrates this further. Uh, morale and momentum are two huge key components to success in Rocket League. And you'll see that in any type of play. Doesn't matter if it's 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, whatever. You know, if you're riding that momentum and you've got the morale of having a, a very early lead, you know, first minute and a half is off the clock right now and Desca Del Hato's up 4-0 in this deciding game. So the momentum is clearly on his side, the morale is clearly on his side, and you're starting to see it just get carried away. I mean, it could either go two ways. With the, you know, TJ could base could be two nil, three nil down, and he'll basically be in the mindset of, well, you know, this isn't a good start. Maybe start beating himself up a bit, and then kind of concede more goals. Or he could uh, take it as, well, I've got nothing to lose here. Let's just keep going as hard as I can. I'm, I'm down. As I, you know, if I concede more, I concede. But I've got to score some goals. That's probably what he's trying to do. Well, the, the comeback begins now if it's going to come at all. <laughs> So he's got loads of time to recover from this four goal deficit now. Uh, still a full three minutes left to play. But he does have to start playing a much better game now and find those openings. And there's a pretty good one, but Desca Del Hato does just get to it in time. Which it looked like he probably would, to be honest. He didn't quite get ahead of him enough. <laughs> just biding his time, get the best, best hit. Yeah, he does have the time to play with a little bit here. As long as he's keeping Desga Del Hato off the ball, then he should be in a pretty good spot to start closing this gap a little further. Yeah, it seems to have evened out now completely, whereas uh, before it was a bit more there's the Des show. Now <laughs> it's the TJ and Des show. They're working in tandem. It's nice to see. It's just a bit too late, maybe. Maybe not. Two minutes 20, as you said, a lot of time. Yeah, it, it does have to start soon, though. You know, he's, yeah. he's got to. That first goal was good, but if he can't follow up on it, I think really soon here, uh, he's going to have a hard time, I think, building up that momentum that he's going to need to close the gap. Because, you know, Desga Del Hato set the pace very early and got himself a very comfortable lead. So it's going to take a lot of effort from TJ Shorty to start closing it. But there's a good second goal. So... 
That's better. We're starting to see it, but now, again, he's got to keep following up on it. He's running very low on time here. And, uh, yeah, if he doesn't score some quick goals, then time is probably going to be his worst enemy here. Oh, and that. That'll probably be even worse, though. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a bad enemy. <laughs> Conceding goals. Yeah, nice little bit of a... Uh, just floated it right over TJ Shorty's head. We'll follow Deska Del Hato a little bit here. Six goals off eight shots so far. Looking very good in the efficiency department. Oh, yeah. Can look at the school board, don't we? <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, it looks, uh... <laughs> Looks like TJ's gonna have to pull some miracles out of his bag. And you can tell by the fact he's doing wall hits to uh, just play in Brisky here to try and get some goals. And uh, it's reasonable just like that, oh. which is why you shouldn't do wall hits unless you're absolutely certain and <laughs> hit it over. Yeah, he's, he's trying to be a little more, uh, a little more aggressive, which is difficult in this game. Because he knows he's completely, I mean, at this point, he's pretty much completely out of time. Uh, there's really no way he's going to be picking, picking up five goals in less than a minute based off what we've seen so far. So, maybe he'll pick up another one or two, but at this point, I think our previous champion is going to be going home a little early. And that is thanks to a very good showing by Desga Del Hato. Nice goal there to further this up. This was actually very pretty looking. I don't know if we'll get to see the whole thing. But, yeah, good little side swipe there. Just puts it away. And, uh, there you have it. So GG's have gone out. Looks like they are going to keep going a little bit here. Maybe. I think they're just going to mess around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just sort of playing catch right now. <laughs> These yeah, passes, just... you don't see this in a top game. Look at this. <laughs> Some skilled back and forth right now. <laughs> back to the training ground. TJ to Des. <laughs> TJ. Oh, no, it's just TJ now. Gotta say, it's the most exciting part of this one we won so far. That ball control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Truly top tier. Oh, God, that last 10 seconds was amazing. The back and forth was just unstoppable. Well, there you go. So, Desga Del Hato will be moving on to the next round. Our former champion, TJ Shorty, goes out a little early. So he will have to regroup, come back later, and uh, try again next week. This is where we're going here. So, let's pop out of that and let's see where we head to now so that was a that was a pretty good series um you know that was one of those series that i always find interesting because the games themselves weren't really close they just were heavily weighted one way or the other <laughs> so the whole series ended up being closer than it probably would have been yeah i mean the second game it was a bit close i think and uh you know it started off fairly even and then uh, kind of TJ took it away but uh, no that was uh, good to see it, it just shows how uh, you know you could win like 10 nil one game and then end up losing the next game against the same person just because uh, of you know as you said momentum mentality just learning yeah. adjusting to the other person's play style there's a ton of factors uh, especially in a 1v1 where you know the slightest thing can just completely alter the, the game and yeah, uh, yeah. obviously that was shown yeah exactly so Good showing there by Desga Del Hado. So he's going to be waiting on his next opponent, which is a little delayed right now, based off the bracket here. The match that decides his opponent is still waiting on a match to decide the <laughs> opponent in that match. So that part of the bracket is a little delayed right now. But the round of 16 is coming together a little bit here. We know that uh, so far, Shlobo... Desga Del Hado. Uh, we know that. Sorsten Bjorn. Zenid TV. Scrub Killer. 
and Linkaroo are all in the round of 16. So they're moving forward, but they are all waiting on the next round here. So. So, yes. It's uh, still quite a lot of names in here, I don't know. Which is nice to see. So interesting to see uh, who they uh, who wins out of all them. To see uh, who faces the likes of Linker or Scrub Killer. Yeah, I think we know who the uh, you know we certainly know who the players are that'll probably be moving forward here. Um, but th I'm sure there'll be a little bit of surprises. Some players we're maybe not totally used to yet who start to emerge. Mm. But uh, all about being competitive. So I'm gonna check in on our uh, our chat here. I see Scrub Kill is hanging out in there. Scrub Killer, <laughs> waiting for his opponent. <laughs> Shatters, let me ask you right now. Who, who just half guessing, half, est, you know, based on the players. Who, who are our two finalists? Well, um, let me just look at the bracket so I can at least see how it plays out here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly where the split will be. Um, all right. Well, top half of the bracket. I will have to say. I mean, I think Desca Del Hado stands a very good chance of being that top half finalist mm, from what I'm seeing here. Interesting. <laughs> to be fair, he's the only player I know in that top half, so <laughs> that's who I would say. And on the other side, it's a little more competitive, for sure. But, uh, yeah, we've got Scrub Killer down there. We've got Linkaroo, and they stand a chance of meeting in the, uh, I think in the semis? Yeah, they, they could meet in the semifinals of that lower part of the bracket, so that could be fairly interesting. Uh, and between those two getting to the finals, I don't know. I, I think I need to see Linkaroo in a little more competitive game. To get a feel for where he really kind of ranks in a 1v1. I've never really seen him play 1v1. So that's the that's the thing there. I, I played Link Crew in a 1v1. Right, there was like the Rocket League launch 1v1 tournament. And uh, I remember we we had played and he just beat me like 7-3, 7-4 or something <laughs> in like two straight games. And then I played with him ranked like a week later and then I beat him. And I was like, well, why can't I do that in the tournament? <laughs> so we just see what happens now. But uh, Zoomy Tail, I played with him in 1v1 a couple of days ago, and uh, it was extremely close, and I, I just managed to win like 1-0, but I, I've never played in 1v1, so I don't know what to expect, but he's, he's a really good player, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how he does. Yeah, there's a lot of good potential here as far as who can make it into the, uh, into the finals. The lower half of the bracket is definitely a little more stacked than the top part, I think just mm. based off what I'm looking at right now. But, uh, either way, we should still get some good stuff. So, I'm just trying to see where we're going to head next, because I honestly have no idea. A lot of the round of 32 games are either underway or decided. So I'm thinking round of 16 might end up being our next stop. Whichever round of 16 match ends up being finalized first here. Mm. Um, oh, there's one. Right at the top, Shlobo and Crop. Or Trop. Oh, I, have, I have a request here. Scrub Killer oh. wants me to cast his game. Uh, is if your opponent is decided, let, let me let me check in on our admin here. <laughs> Alright, checking in on admin level here. Seeing if we can get info for Scrub Killer's matchup. Should it be a good one? Like I said, I don't really know many here. I haven't seen many players play 1v1. 
So it's nice to see how uh, all these team players that I've faced do in 1v1 situation. Yeah, most of the time the 1v1 situation is really just kind of isolated to the rank board, so you don't really get it in a tournament environment. Um, and of course, this one's a little bit more restricted due to the fact that, for one, it's just European team or players. Um, and for two, not every player is going to want to compete in a full ball one 1v1 tournament, even if yeah. they do play competitively on the leaderboard or ranked or something like that. Because um, as, as a lot of you probably know, that there is no great prize for the Ariel Cup. Uh, it is just bragging rights and the right to say that you are one of the best 1v1 players going today. But, Pretty much. Uh, so that, that's your present. <laughs> that's your prize for doing really <laughs> well here. So obviously something like that might dissuade some players from actually wanting to carve out some hours of their day to play in this. But, you know, some players just have that competitive edge. And they need to get in there. And they need to, uh, to just play and show off and show that they're so good. Definitely. It's, watching this has made me tempted to enter now, I've got to say. <laughs> but I can never guarantee that I'm free all the time. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, good players that are, like, that are in it more than I thought, which is nice. Which entices me, yeah. to say the least. And you know, hey, I'm hoping to you know, be able to keep drawing upward and upward with the uh, fact that it's being shoutcast every week now, which is... Uh, yeah, actually, you know, the Aerial Cup obviously has always been shoutcast since the first Aerial Cup was last week. But, uh, yeah, this was kind of a, a little bit of a last-second decision, so to say. Um, you know, I got my start doing the Sunday Cups, but my Sunday casting schedule kind of gets tied up a bit by other things. <laughs> other things <laughs> being other tournaments. But... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I decided that there was these nice three midweek tournaments that ESL decided to hold for European players. And I was like, hey, I'm, I'm around during those times. Maybe I can shoutcast those. I asked, they said yes, and here we are. <laughs> so, see, so yeah, I think we're going to follow in with Scrub Kill once we figure out who his opponent is. I think he's waiting on the winner of Spiker7 and Violent Panda. Dun, dun, dun. So. Heard of the panda? I've never seen him play. I have no idea how good he is. So, could be interesting. Judging from his name, I guess, uh, I guess uh, he demolishes a lot if he's a violent panda. <laughs> so, uh, don't let me down, violent panda. <laughs> <laughs> I say, what, I don't see enough uh, demolishes in a one v one. It's like, I mean, if you demolish a 1v1, you've just, you, you, you're just, it's a 1v0, isn't it? You know, you're completely free yourself for a couple of seconds. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The, it's a very high-risk approach. You know, you, you miss on a on demo, and you've basically just given your <laughs> opponent a wide-open route to your goal. Um, That's true. You know, it, obviously the reason, you know, you don't see it a lot in team play too much either, though I, I would say in the past few weeks or so, we've been seeing a lot more of that demo play in team games mm. like I've seen that go up quite a bit because it seems to be a little bit of an effective strategy if you can afford to sacrifice one player for a moment to try and get that demo mm. um, but yeah and ones every now and then <laughs> I, but I wonder how much of it is accidental how, and how much of it is deliberate yeah. and how much of it is just you know you got in my way when I was hitting <laughs> my boost I was going for the ball <laughs> I mean, let's just say, if you're driving behind a car, you're not going to make an effort to go out of their way, you know? You're just, right. just going to drive into them. Yeah, exactly. So, that's usually how it goes. That's what I do in 3v3s. I think that's what a lot of people tend to do. It's a viable strategy. I don't know if it's still up for yeah. debate, though, of where the people are like, you can't demolish. And it's like, well, it's just a strategy. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't understand that. There's no nothing wrong with demolishing. That's a mechanic of the game. It's a good strategy. There's risk involved and, you know, exactly right. I think it's worth it, but whatever. <laughs> want to get weird about it. <laughs> so, uh, well, I did see the question about if there are any of these 1v1 or 2v2 tournaments from ESL in North America, and as it stands right now, no. Only Sunday, it, it, well, for ESL, at least. There might be some for other companies 
maybe MLG, maybe other third parties. But yeah, for uh, EU, the only... Right now, EU is the only company that has 1v1 and 2v2s uh, as a promoted tournament right now. And there's quite a few. Yeah, Though the, the on, Thurs man. Thursday one's a little interesting. That one is just for uh, players in the Nordic countries. So uh, it's a little bit more isolated down. But there is a 2v2 tournament for, uh, you know, the rest of Europe. And that's Wednesday. But yeah, sorry for the delay. Still waiting on where we're going next. I don't even know if that match has fully been decided as far as who Scrub Killer will be playing. At least as far as the bracket. If it's not updated on the bracket, then it doesn't really count yet. <laughs> yeah. So, we're waiting here now. This is, this is the real ESL experience. That's <laughs> exactly. We're waiting here. Exactly, yeah. This People is forget a... to uh, confirm results and whatnot. Take some time. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Yeah, tournament life, you know, <laughs> it's just how it is. Especially with an online tournament, you don't have anybody who can uh, yeah. force play players to play. Um. All right, when are the power rankings coming? They will be coming soon, tomorrow, I think. Right? I think tomorrow. they post every Wednesday. Yeah. Tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, power rankings will be out very soon for EU. I don't know about NA because I don't do NA. I think they Basically come Thursday it's on there. Yeah, so shortly thereafter. <laughs> but uh, yeah, EU rankings are done. They're just being totally done now. We're doing so, some. We're doing the write-ups. Yeah, you know the rankings themselves are good to go. It's just the extra, like why did we rank them there? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I felt like it. <laughs> how, many, that... how insulting would it be for a team? You just go like, <laughs> yeah, I put these guys fifth because yeah, whatever. Felt good. Felt like it. <laughs> Yeah, so honestly. <laughs> honestly, that's what it's like sometimes when you're dealing with with the complexities of the bracket. You're trying to figure out exactly how you want to place these players. It's like a puzzle. Mm. But yeah, that's how it winds up sometimes. It's like, well, you you got put there because that's just how it happened to wind up. Yes. This other team was slightly better in this way or that way or you were slightly worse or you were slightly better than this team whatever there's so many things we look at when we do this stuff especially when you get to the lower part of that rankings and it's like okay why would i put them above you know this team above this team <laughs> you know what what's the difference there mm -hmm. and it gets tricky it's, it's practically like a, like a tie for 10th in a lot of cases between three or four different teams but yeah. It's when it's the rock, paper, scissors situation. <laughs> exactly. Team A beats Team B, Team B beats Team C, but then Team C beats Team A, and you're like, well, I don't know how to rings. It's impossible. So. Oh, yeah. And that, that happens a lot in the upper part of the rankings, too. Like, uh, looking at results, you know, that's one of the first things that I personally look at. We all have our own kind of approach to how we want to rank teams. And um, just like looking at results, for example, I was looking at Team Rocket and Team Shizu. And the results that I focused on, since both teams played in the Rocket Royale Qualifier and both teams played in Gfinity, I figured, okay, well, look at those two. That's really all I got. Mm. So Team Shizu made it one round further in the qualifiers, but Team Rocket made it one round further in Gfinity. So it, it's just like, well, great. They basically, the results are practically even there so now you got to look at the teams that played and what the f final score lines were at least game to game and yeah you gotta look at all that little stuff so there's there's a degree of work involved in doing this stuff um but yeah yeah tomorrow I mean, will be... <laughs> at least it's easy for rock and chizzy because you just know they have to be together they can't you can't have a team in the middle of them so you know <laughs> If one goes out, the other goes with them. <laughs> <laughs> it just, just has to. It's the only way it works. It's the rules, isn't it? Pretty sure. But, uh... Right, well, while we're waiting on this, here's something we can talk about. Because I know you and I, we've been talking about this among everybody else for the last several days. 
Um, and now the rest of the world is probably noticing it, if they haven't already. Uh, tomorrow, some ridiculously big announcement is coming on the official PlayStation blog. And then on Thursday, there will be a developer live stream where they'll go into more detail on whatever it is. And Dave will eat his bread. But uh, the bread eating is really not the, the important thing here. Obviously, the big question is, what the hell is this big, important new game update? This is actually the biggest hint we've seen so far, is the post that they've made in-game here. Because uh, it was just a Twitter post with some blurred out image, which, going back and looking at it, I think it's just a zippy. <laughs> I think it's just an orange zippy really so. blurred out on some random pitch. I couldn't tell what the pitch was. Um, it could be a new map. Wasteland! <laughs> <laughs> That's what a lot of people think, that it could be Wasteland. Um, right. But this is apparently a very big deal. So I don't think it's just new maps or new cars or new aesthetics. This is an important new game update. Those are the words that they are using here. I don't know what. I mean, it's big enough to warrant an announcement and a special live stream. And Rocket League, Psionics slash Rocket League does not live stream very often, as we know. <laughs> that's another uh, statement, nice. Yeah. So, I mean, that's really the question. So, I don't really know what to expect out of this, to be honest. I, I, I have lots of theories and thoughts, and, and obviously my hope is that it's something to do with esports, but it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> sound like it just has to do with the game itself. I don't know. I mean, if it's if it's esports, something really. If if they're making this big of a deal, if it was esports, it would be something big, you know, like some big tournament or series with like a big prize pool and or some big LAN event or something, which would be great. The dream. <laughs> if it's something to do with the base game, that's also going to be great. I mean, change something's changing. My my guess isn't esports because if it's changing, something fundamental about the game has got to change. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the, sometimes uh, sometimes the, the ex exclamation change is coming could just mean something big and new is coming, and it could change the, you know, uh, profile true. of the game. So, that's true. I, I mean, there's not a lot in the game itself to really change, per se. <laughs> yeah. You know, Rocket League is one of those few games that uh, doesn't necessarily have a lot of depth to it. <laughs> it's just really the player skill that brings out a lot of extra elements of the game. Yeah. But the the basic thing is, it's fucking cars playing football. That's that's it. You know, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it, it sounds like just based off of that phrasing and based off the fact they're talking about uh, revealing a trailer that'll tease an important new game update. Probably not esports, but ah. uh, probably something to do with a new feature or a new mode. I know a lot of people are talking about um, the new types of maps like the uh the more dynamic map types a lot of the maps like you would have seen in uh battle cars hmm. so that could be say, a big change if they do that i'd be kind of disappointed to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> because what no i mean i want i want you know the fun crazy maps you know they're great mm -hmm. but at the same time we already know they're coming anyway because they said in a previous announcement that after utopia the next maps they're going to make are going to be, uh, you know, fun, non-standardized maps. So we already know that. So if they announce that, I'd be like, well, we knew that. Uh, so right. It doesn't really <laughs> change much. So I really hope it's not that, and it's something else big. So, uh, uh, this is... I'm, exci I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am too. We've certainly been going through every possible option over the last few days, and no real idea of exactly what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm with you. I'm, I'm just as excited... I, I hope it's as big as they want it to be. We, we've gotten the hype from, from Durkin and from Fuzzhead, who have basically said, oh yeah, you guys are going to love it. Yeah. And <laughs> so, all right, well, it looks like we're about to get things started here. If you... Ooh. I was going to say, what's uh, actually casting? We're doing this is a talk, a talk show. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been waiting. <laughs> I've just been patiently filling air while we wait for the next map here. Have you made it in? Make sure you're in. I, don't, I can never tell when the... Oh, yeah, I got a rope in the game. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? Right. Let's, let's, 
Cause I'm Rocket League. Let's do it. Okay. I think where everybody's good to go. So. Violent Panda. Scrub Killer. 1v1. This should be fun to watch. And here we go. Game 1 of this best of 3 series. Here in the round of 16. So. Trying to get a spot in the quarterfinals. And a good start for Scrub Killer. Sees that mistake there. Oh, I wouldn't say it was a mistake. He just went for a shot. Just happened to make such a good defensive play that it ended up just shooting. So, good start. Yeah, nice bit of uh, just a good angle on that contact off, off stopping that shot. So, sometimes you just get really good and. Now that we're following Scrub Killer, we can see that he is using the Spark Boost, which everybody loves. <laughs> everybody loves Spark. Because it sounds great. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, so far. So that was a good start by Scrub Killer. Oh, and Violent Panda. Follows up there. Let's see if we can catch this on the replay. Nope. Whatever. Fine. What a surprise, <laughs> huh? I think it's just not to expect it, man. Yeah, it took me a long time to finally start breaking the the three v three teams out of doing that, because now I think I think teams are getting so used to a lot of their games, especially like the top tier teams getting casted. Scrub Killer makes a very nice play off of that, not so nicely done clear, which is perfectly set up off the wall. Ah, see, they're 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 coming too. <laughs> Scrub Killer knows I've cast his games before, so. <laughs> so he knows, hey, can't, can't skip the replays for the casters. But, you know, I... Well, there you go. You wanted demos? You got demos. There you go. I saw it. And look, it's paid off. Absolutely. It nice. has. That's, that's the good way to do it, because, you know, that's the rule of thumb for demos, is you have to react very quickly. If you don't react quickly, then, uh, yeah, you will lose your window, because those windows close very quick on demos. So, good play for Scrub Killer, giving himself a nice lead here. Oh, he bashed him as well, see? <laughs> Pro tip from Ryan, there you go. Bash him, <laughs> smash him, and you get some goals. I've said Ryan Panda seems to be spending a bit too much time on the walls at the moment. Kind of a... Uh, he's lost two goals because of it already. Just to be a bit more grounded, I think. Yeah, I have to wonder, you know... Like, I, like we talked about, it certainly is a different play style between the team game and 1v1. So I gotta wonder how much of those, how many of those habits, like ways that he may play in a three v three, will come through in a one v one. But a nice bit of response there does manage to close the gap a little bit here. Only a two goal lead for Scrub Killer. Plenty of time for Violet Panda to kind of find his footing a bit though and start challenging that scoreline a bit more. Oh, but nice play, the rebound. Very classic shot here. <laughs> really nothing too uh, innovative about that. Play it off the top of the goal and then come in and pick up your rebound. Exactly. That's I don't the, know if you uh, can... Problem when you're trying to make a defensive play. If you just miss your defensive shot, you're basically, you know, if the if the other player has you know waited, then they can just get a free shot and go. Yep, exactly. Like, I, I don't know if you could refer to any one shot as like the classic, but I'd probably refer to that one as it. <clears throat> you'll, you'll see that just 99% of the time in practically every game you watch, especially in the team in the game at least. Mm -hmm. In 1v1, maybe not so much. It's uh, more of a team game style of goal. Yeah. But, oh, that was a big mistake there for Violent Panda. Plays it does pick it up, but he actually causes a nice little send to the corner that Scrub Kill him, it picks up. So maybe not so much a mistake, just, uh, you know, tried to disrupt that shot and ended up setting it up perfectly. Yeah, I know that all too well. You try <laughs> to, you have good intentions and then it just comes back to bite you. Exactly. You this is a very, very high scoring game right now. We're not even halfway through and there are 10 goals on the board. <laughs> That's the thing about this 1v1s. Is... Oh yeah, this is uh, certainly typical for the 1v1 game. Much more high scoring affair. And uh, leaning very heavily to uh... Ooh. 
Yeah, definitely the scrub killer right now. He's... I think the big thing right now is that they're trading goals back and forth, but the advantage started off for Scrub Killer, so he's got this two-goal lead. Well, now a three-goal, but he had this two-goal advantage. So if they keep trading back and forth, he's still going to have at least a two-goal advantage. So it won't really do Violent Panda any good. Well, we yeah, have finally reached good. the halfway point. Eleven goals through. Eleven goals. <laughs> imagine I said a real football match. Just like, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's eleven goals, you know. Barcelona have two minutes to score five goals. That will do. That will do. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, dc We are encountering some connectivity. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Forgotten. Uh, you have to know the rules this now. Well, i got to say, both these players are experts in driving in circles. I've got That's that nailed down to a T. And poof. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know if that was. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Can I get back in? No, that server has gone down. Okay. So, don't know exactly what happened there. <laughs> uh. Sometimes it's just DC. I guess so. Let me switch off back to cameras here while we're trying to regroup. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, don't quite know. Just a big fall apart of the server there. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think it's coming back. I'm going to try to get back into this game if the server is up and active and can connect. I guess that's the big question here. I don't know what quite the uh, rules are here. Do we uh, start from where we left off? or? Well, I guess it'll come down to the players deciding too. They, they could go with that final score line. It was pretty tilted by the time the server Excuse me, by the time the server went down. Mm. But, uh, alright, well, no access to that server right now. I'll see if the admins know what's going on. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, how's everyone doing in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of disconnect messages. Yep, mm -hmm. we know. <laughs> Everything went down, and we just got everybody driving in circles for a little while. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if the whole server just dropped, or if it was, you know, a particular player. I mean, it looked pretty completely catastrophic there. So I'm wondering... I just want to check something here. No, regular servers seem okay. Alright, so... Players are reporting they're having some sort of issue. Hmm. But... We were having so much fun. No. <laughs> and now everything gets disrupted. How could they do this to us? Alright, well... Got one more going here. Let's try this. Looks like a new server. Let's see if we can get in there. And if that will work. Alright. Make sure that's and Shell says you two should 1v1. <laughs> <laughs> we would do, yeah. but we've got games to cast. Okay. So we're back in. Let's switch to the game view at least. Sounds like a plan. So I'm finding out now from the admins what the how that last game is going to be handled. Um, but I guess for now the players are just going to start playing right away. So we'll just we'll just call the game like normal. Don't know. If there's any sort of uh, 
lead here. But, uh, already Scrub Killa getting things started off with a very nice looking goal. Kind of a repeat of the last game. And then just yeah. play exactly like before. <laughs> So I don't know if they're just scrapping that first game, or if Scrub Killer will technically get the win. There was still quite a bit of game to play, and it was only a three-goal deficit, but Scrub Killer, very nice bit of play here. Just getting the scoreline back to where it was, maybe. <laughs> you know, let's get that seven-goal lead there. Start the eleven-goal route. Again, well, not really a route. It was 11 goals between all the players, but <laughs> still. Well, let's see what Scrub can do. He likes his dribbles. He's done quite a good dribble, a lot of dribble goals oh. here. It's three in the back already. Yeah, Violent Panda tried right. to get in front of it, but uh, a little too late on getting that good of contact. And plus, Scrub Killer was right there to just keep pushing it forward. So. Early three goal lead in the first 34 seconds. 36 seconds, excuse me. I can math. <laughs> well, you know, we hit a cast rocket league, not a decent math. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need no edumacation. We fail in fish, that's impossible. <laughs> well, so. Apparently, Scrub Killer wants to score all 11 of the goals that were scored in the previous game. Nice play around the corner, and another four-goal lead with less than a minute off the clock. Seems that uh, Violent Panda was affected by the DC a bit more than Scrub Killer was. Apparently so, yeah. And he is driving this momentum full steam ahead at the moment. And he's off the wall. Risky. <laughs> and oh. he's still in possession of the ball. Yeah, big touch and there. Was. Wide open net. Pretty easy goal. Once he got that little break there, I think Scrub Killer just had it the entire rest of the way. 5 0. Now is your scoreline. Scoring has slowed a little bit. But, uh. <laughs> Oh. It's 5 0. Scoring has slowed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not many games you say that. It's funny. <laughs> you know. In Rocket League. It probably would have been 7 0 by now if it uh, if the scoring hadn't started to slow down a little bit. Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> just a little. Scrub is going full hammer, I don't know, and he's smacking that ball often and hard. Looks like he's in complete control of the game at the moment. Oh, oh. oh, nice play, and he can't finish it, though. Oh, two chances there to put that ball away, and he could not get the finish. He does manage to at least disrupt that shot. But, man, that that's a bit of a heartbreaker there. He had a nice wide open net. He got it past Scrub Killer, and Violent Panda couldn't finish the deal. Let's follow Violent Panda around, just to at least reduce the uh, noise of Spark. <laughs> and good timing. <laughs> I have great timing. Get rid of the Spark. <laughs> Following Violent Panda around, he does manage to get that goal. Finally gets himself on the board. Six goals by the halfway point here, so a little bit behind of where last game was. I think we were deep. We were in double digits at that point. Oh, Scrub Killer with a nice save there. Very close, though. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems a lot more even now. But Violent Panda may have left it a bit too late to uh, you know, make his comeback of some kind. Yeah, entirely possible. I mean, the, the opportunity is still there. Obviously, if uh, five goals can be put on before the halfway point by Scrub Killer, they technically can be put on before the halfway point by Violent Panda, but... Unless the momentum really picks up for him, like, now. I don't see it happening. Well, there, the classic, again. <laughs> Nicely yeah, played off, off the wall. In the right in. This is definitely yep. the worst to defend. It's so difficult. So, especially if oh, you don't yeah. have any boost. 
Oh yeah, it can be hard to gauge exactly where the ball is going to be coming from. Where you I mean you got your eye on the ball because you got to watch that, so you don't know exactly where your opponent's going to be. And if you're watching your opponent, then you have a hard time gauging exactly where the ball is going to be. So mm. you've got to kind of decide, you know, which do you want to watch, the ball or the defender or the opponent. And in a team game, it's really hard because you got to watch everybody. So it's a little easier, I guess, in the one v one, but still. Yes, there's the beauty of 1v1s. You only have one person to worry about. Which, if you can't multitask, is like like me, just a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice pinch off the wall by Violent Panda to send that all the way back downfield. It's a good way to clear. <laughs> <laughs> so, Scrub could have said, no, I'm going to put it right back in your half. Oh, and he whiffed on that on that corner shot, and that could be a big opening for Scrub Killer, but no, doesn't get punished. So we're seeing that a little bit from both players, not punishing pretty blatant errors that should be turned into goals. I mean, granted, Scrub Killer already has a very commanding lead, less than a minute to play. Probably has this game, well, certainly has this game in the bag. And uh, I guess once this game is done, we'll figure out exactly where the series stands. Uh, I don't know if they're going to completely scrap that last game. It feels like they are, but uh, don't know for sure. I have to ask them in the air uh, of this game. But this looks like a Scrub Killer victory. Yep, I think Scrub handling. is playing the fancy game at the moment with his freestyle arrows. <laughs> and they're the demolish. Oh, just rubbing it in. <laughs> and in Brazil, like, that's like just three insults in one, that is. Yeah, playing the, the freestyle aerial, gets the demolish and the goal. That's just a, a, a few seconds of screw you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so that feels like right there. But I think the GGs are out. The Brazil is official. He doesn't want to score. <laughs> well, why does every one v one player just not want to? They want the Brazil, don't they? Everybody loves the Brazil. You got to keep it. Got to keep the uh, Brazil protected. And it is protected. So another Brazil. <laughs> Scrub Killer takes this game. And uh, now it's just a matter of finding out exactly where we sit in terms of the series. It looks like they're just going to forego that first game and move on to a game two. So that first game we saw is just clean sheet. Does it like that. And uh, we will start this series over again. So... <laughs> Not quite the score fest that we saw in the unofficial game one, but uh, hey, you know, still good. Oh, I forget I got ready up. Yeah, man. Who's this guy, eh? What's he doing? <laughs> Amateur. Not ready enough. <laughs> <laughs> gotta so, get who's on. your money on for this game? Uh, I've got to go with Scrub Killer. He just looks very dominant. Real grandma. I mean, unless Violent Panda really starts to turn things around here and completely changes his approach to the game, then, uh, yeah, I think Scrub Killa will be walking out into the quarterfinals and Violent Panda will be going home. Well, maybe Violent Panda can pull something out of the bag here. Entirely possible. Oh, he's on the wall. Yeah, he's tempted. He's tempted to go on the wall. Ah, there we go. Oh, that, yeah, that was punished. <laughs> <laughs> gotta save the fancy stuff for when you've got the lead. If you're gonna be fancy <laughs> this early, it might not pay off. You can tell he was tempted. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, huge stop by Scrub Killer. And he will turn it around for a goal. Wow. <laughs> That was outstanding. And we got them both in the replay. Fantastic. That would be so annoying when you make a <laughs> yeah, you make a shot, he just saved it, and then he ends up just scoring. Like just, so. Yeah, just a That's big save. I think it ended up pinching it straight downfield, so that caused it to be very difficult for Violent Panda to try and get back to it. And that whiff there also opened up the door here for Scrub Kill a bit. Still showboating all, but that time it worked. Ooh. That time he got the ball just underneath Violent Panda. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, off to a good start. 
It's, uh, seems like it would be a close game. Almost a minute in. Yeah, it might be. I guess if, if Scrub Killer decides to turn it on the way he was last game, then the close scoreline could start to expand. Let's put it that way, things could start to change. But uh, for right now, only a one goal differential. Violent Panda will switch over to him. Really need to start putting some pressure on the net. And speaking of which, I have just the best timing with this guy. <laughs> Every time I switch to him, he just scores a goal immediately thereafter. So, tying goal. Gets the big equalizer and Violent Panda making this game, too, a little more interesting. Doesn't want to go home yet. He must be uh, extremely glad in the moment uh, that first game was scrapped. <laughs> yes. Uh, trying to make his comeback. The luck of the collapsing server could be all it needs. There's a nice play by Scrub Killer. We'll follow him for this replay. Playing it off the wall. It's a little bit of contact to send it in the air. And one more redirect just to drive it home. So he gets the lead back. I, mean, I think Violent Panda really needs to be playing for the lead at this point. And just, you know, try to get a lead that he can carry into the next round. And that one, oh. <laughs> uh, those, those are brutal. Those are really high-bouncing, multi-bounce sort of shots. They can be so hard to track. And I think that's where Scrub Kill had a problem. He just lost sight of exactly where he needed to be for that and yeah. couldn't quite get that contact. That's the problem. You have limited boost. Can't you always make a save you want to. But again, game's still close. Back tied. It'll be a big momentum shift for uh, Violent Panda if he can get the go-ahead goal. Something like that I think would work out very nicely. It, it does, it, yeah, it, it's extremely close to the game, and it's going from red side to blue side. You know, it's anyone's game at the moment, so. You'd be, uh, your money would be well placed betting on either of these players at the moment. Yeah, for sure, and here's a good opening for Violent Panda. Oh, but he puts too much on the ball. He had a nice wide open shot on net, got past Scrub Killer, but uh, put a little too much on it. And couldn't get on around to the other side. <laughs> Scrub killer. <laughs> With the immediate punish. Back in the game. Oh. Picked his aerials. Nice yeah, Violent Panda couldn't quite get the angle underneath it that he needed. But uh, we'll stick to Violent Panda for a little bit here. Just to see. And there we go. <laughs> I tell you, people, don't go on the walls. It just—it doesn't work. <laughs> the walls are a difficult spot to be in, for uh, for a one v one. But good on Violent Panda for being able to respond back to these goals. He just needs to get a go ahead. I think that's his biggest hurdle right now—is get that go ahead goal. And uh, if he can do that, instead of just responding to every goal that Scrub Kill scores. Then he could force the game three out of this. Yeah, see what's happening. I think uh, it's hard to say at this point what's going to happen. I mean, it goes on one side of the pitch. Like always, going to you know, it's fifty percent chance it goes in, fifty percent it gets defended from either player. So uh, this is extremely even at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's mostly a case of just some player manages to take advantage of one little gap, and there's a big advantage. For Violent Holy Panda here. Oh, oh. <laughs> such a close shot that gets sent to the post and Violent Panda turns it around and gets the go-ahead goal that he absolutely needed. So. <laughs> I mean, that should be 5-4 to scrub that one. That's, that's heartbreaking for him. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice setup, but uh, could not quite do it. But that's all it is, you know. Take advantage of those mistakes. Oh, nearly. Another good goal, but there again, the goal doesn't go in. The opponent takes advantage of the rebound and gets the score. So Scrub Killer with a big equalizer there, five-five, back to double digits is your score line. Oof! It's not often you see a five-five draw. <laughs> it is. Neither players really kind of emerged as the uh, dominant player in this particular game. Looks like an opening. 
Oh. Scrum Killer gets ahead of it just in time. I don't know why Violent Panda kind of waited on that. I think if he had made the shot a little earlier there, because he didn't go and collect boost or anything, he just kind of sat there and waited while Scrub Killer had gone to collect boost, so he had a lot of timing that he probably could have uh, actually scored there. Yeah, he probably, uh, I think he was questioning whether he should bait him out a bit. Oh, and realized the late. wall! The wall! <laughs> no! We told you the wall! <laughs> we told you don't, don't play the wall! <laughs> and then you did it. Scrub killer. <laughs> Let this be a lesson. You're, you're getting a lesson in 1v1s here today, folks. Don't play the wall. <laughs> unless, I don't know, unless you're kooks here, don't play the wall. Oh, yeah. And if, you're if it's guaranteed you're going to hit over their heads, or you've got a free shot, then yeah, go for the wall. Yeah. But not if there's someone in go. Oh, this is intense. <laughs> Equalizer. <laughs> what is this? It's, oh, it's just back and forth goals here. So we're now at the twelfth goal of the game. Six six is your scoreline. <laughs> Here, game two. Violent Panda needs the win, or he's going home. And right now, I I don't know. Just stop playing the walls. That's all we need to take away from this. So we might be seeing overtime. It's a little harder to do rule well, one. Yeah, probably. Oh yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> going to overtime. Very close there. Golden goal time. Violent Panda needs a goal to keep his tournament life alive. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, and there's the opening. If he can get it past Scrub Killer here. Nice oh, cross that check. So <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> Violent Panda sets up a little floater here and then charges in and just cross checks Scrub Killer right out of the way. Gets the winning goal. <laughs> that was excellent play. Very nicely done. So Violent Panda takes game two. And we are moving to game three. A deciding game three. Oh man, I gotta say that was close. <laughs> that was clutch. You can you can know who was gonna win that game. No, that was that was a very intense game. Just just mistakes being exploited on both sides and People playing the wall when they shouldn't. <laughs> but uh, yeah. either way, I mean, yeah, that was an that was an excellent game with a beautiful goal there in overtime. Just really nicely done. So here we go, deciding game three. Winner goes to the quarterfinals. Loser goes home. Well, they might already be home, but loser doesn't get to play anymore. <laughs> well, okay, they can still play, but they can't play in this tournament. I think. Okay. That, that's what I'm uh, trying okay, to get. Okay, I get you. I get you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Tried to catch up to that big shot there by Violent Panda. But uh, Scrub Killer couldn't quite beat the ball. And we're going to keep moving on. So early goal for Violent Panda. Could he be establishing a big comeback? In the first game, he got dominated. In the unofficial first game, he was also pretty well dominated. But... Ever since that last extremely close game, starting to look a little bit of a, of a tighter game here. Much more competitive. Oh, and he couldn't quite take the ball off a of scrub killer, so he can just sort of walk it in. Yeah, it just once you got that once you got the momentum of the dribble, unless your the opponent's already going supersonic, you can't catch up. And uh, that's exactly what Scrub Killer did. Yeah. Timing was a little off for Panda there on trying to steal the ball off the hood. I, I like the uh, kind of physical play that Violent <laughs> Panda is showing here. It's smart. It's smart play. Oh, and a big save by Violent Panda. Stops the scoreline from going in Scrub Killer's favor. Now trying to get that go-ahead. That is Panda's goal right now. Go on, shoot, shoot. Yeah. Oh, oh. save. Save. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice <clears throat> shot, but good defensive positioning. So now pa pa ugh, Panda, Panda, Panda. I don't know <laughs> where, where I broke out that southern accent there. Here comes Panda. <laughs> Scrub killer, though. Manages to turn it around. Gets the go-ahead goal now. Takes it right off of the front of his car. Plays it off the wall. Nicely done. No way that Panda was going to stop that one. Nah, it was...
was uh, seemed like it was going to be a goal right from the moment it hit the wall. But yeah, uh, it seems to be a lot less goals in this game. We're still pretty close, so. And so far, things slowing down. Oh, nice touch off the back tire. Oh, that was a beauty. Hopefully, we get to watch this one more time. Plays the ball off the hood, and look at this just back tire shot. Gets it the air that it needs. Like, he, he needed to flick it over Scrub Killer's head, and he just got it with that little <laughs> three quarter spin there, so really nicely done. Ties the game back up. And uh, yeah, this is a. I think we're going to get some really intense stuff here. We went, we've gone to a deciding game here. This game much closer than the first one. Yeah. But hopefully we get the same kind of drama of game two. Because this has been very exciting and Scrub Killer gets past Violent Panda yet again. He likes his, uh, like I said, I like the uh, back and forth dribbles here. There's not too many mistakes being made per se, just more good quality goals from, you know, the attackers taking around them or over them, which is nice to see. Yeah, more of that skill coming into play and uh, just that ball control a big big factor in 1v1 and, and it feels like we're seeing both of those styles of 1v1 play out of these players you've got violent panda who's a little more well <laughs> that that goal doesn't show it that was more of just i got a good position here but he sends he tends to slow it down a little bit more tries to get past the opponent with the dribbling game and things like that where scrub killer is a little more high impact it seems a lot of his shots are uh you know, he tries to rebound around his opponents, and I'm not sure what Violent Panda is doing right now. Yeah, that's a... I don't know if he got hit by the, uh... I don't know. Uh, I, I don't see lag. <laughs> he just kind of stopped and started can't... riding up the walls a bit. Uh, I guess he's, he's saying like... he got hit by something. Are we getting a spike now? He says he's lagging. I wouldn't, you wouldn't stop in a 1v1 when you're drawing, would you? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, especially in the uh, deciding game here. But, alright, looks like things might be sorted a bit here, but Scrub Killer will extend his lead a little bit. Did get that first goal off of a uh, bit of lag there, apparently. Oh, and he's gone. Well, that's oh. two DCs in one game. Well, I, I was following him, so I'll go follow Scrub Killer a little bit here and see what the deal is going to be at this point. Interesting. Right, everybody's gone. Now Doomsy's in. We'll follow you around. Oh, he's got it! He's gone! Oh! <laughs> Can't be stopped! <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Deary me. Gonna try and, get, try and tie the game up. Yeah, I gotta tie this game up. Gotta make it even <laughs> again. <laughs> Yay! Oh, the drama! There we go. Thank, thank me later, Violent Panda. <laughs> There we go. Scoreline tied. All right. Well, <laughs> while Doomsy is running up the scoreline, <laughs> I'm gonna try and find out what's going on. Oh, that's it. Vile Pan is back in. One v one, me bro. <laughs> This has gone from uh, <laughs> Violent Panda versus Scrub Killer to now oh, Violent Panda versus Doomsy. Like, yeah. So exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're even, now we're even. So this is where we're in right now. We're just going to ride this through a little bit. Because <laughs> why not? I don't know what the heck's happened to Game 3 here, but uh, we'll take this. Oh, he's me up. Oh, the demo. This, huh? What's this route? <laughs> oh, uh, returning the favor. <laughs> yeah, everything's kind of weird right now. I, I agree, chat. So I, I 
don't know exactly what the uh, decision is going to be here for for this game. With I mean, it was a very close game before the lag hit, so I don't know if they're going to replay it. Interesting to play the game. Just oh, he's on the wall. Why is he on the wall? I said this. I said this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Takes advantage. <laughs> Oh, well that is just cheeky. <laughs> bring it, bring it, bring the ball. Well, we will enjoy the final 30 seconds of this exciting mid-match 1v1. <laughs> and I think we've got to depart so that uh, Violent Panda can actually respond to the ESL admin. I'm pouting. Let's go, let's go to win. I made no promises that this would be oh. a professional tournament. <laughs> I don't run it, but hey, this is what happens when a uh, disaster happens, so. When you invite teams into the game, you, you, <laughs> yeah. you don't expect it to be professional. <laughs> this is the sort of stuff that happens. But, uh, alright, all right, so... Fun. Panda is going to have to consult with the ESL admin. They're trying to figure out what's going to happen here. Uh, but Doomsy is moving on to the quarterfinal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coming uh, in with the steal. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Where's uh, so, where's Scrub Killer at? Not even sure. I don't know if uh, yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know what the deal is right now. But uh, I'm waiting to get official word from the admins as far as what's going on. Um, so for anybody who might be just tuning in or wasn't paying attention, um, midway through game three. Uh, Violent Panda started to lag out during a very close tied game and uh, then disconnected from the game. Oh, Scrub Kill is back. Yay. Okay. So, are we redoing? I'm going to go into spectate mode and just. And just. I don't know. I'm just going to sit here. Okay. There we go. Now you won, management. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a bit of a, a little messed up situation. I, I think there's still confusion as far as what exactly is going on here. Uh, <laughs> it's up to them, I suppose. All right. Well, Violent Panda. Is one, then. Yeah, Violent Panda might be just sort of giving the win here because he did. Well, I mean, I don't know. The game was pretty tight here, so. Are they going to decide it? I don't know. I don't know what's going to go on here. If they're going to keep playing for fun, or... I, I don't know what's going to happen. This is great. This is fun times. I'm glad you could be a part <laughs> of Alright, so this. they're playing for fun then, apparently. Alright, so... I think a uh, it's playing its crop. One as if it's cost them. So. Alright, well I think... Office. If this is officially settled... Then we are gonna have to uh, to go aside here because we do have tournament games. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm, th I'm trying to. Th I don't know what their decision is gonna be here. They have I to figure out if they're gonna. Put down. This this game is either gonna count or it's gonna be for fun. If it doesn't count, then we're done. We gotta go. But if it's gonna count, we'll cast it. <laughs> it does count now, apparently. Okay. They both have an even score line. Four minutes to play. <laughs> it's just going to be game three. Okay, here we go. Game three. <laughs> We're going to call it game three. What the hell? Oh, this is good. This is good time. So Scrub Killer with a one goal lead. Four minutes to play here in the new game three. That wasn't game three, but now it is. Decided a minute into the game. Oh, man. I mean... This is just a for fun tournament anyway, so it's not like 
there's a lot on the line here. So it really is whatever the players decide to do here. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not too concerned here. I mean, we've already had one DC before, haven't we? But I, so, I've spent a lot of time pl watching these two players go at it. But that's okay, because they've at least been competitive. So it's been good Rocket League. So 3-2. Now, Violent Panda with a nice little goal there to sneak it, I think, just underneath Scrub Killer there. Yeah. Or just behind him, really. But uh, trying to close the gap a bit. Yes, uh, alright, so back in business, are we? Violent Panda thriving for revenge. Be a bit of, bit of, been a bit of a weird series, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a good distance shot. Scrub Killer looks like he will be able to disrupt it, though. Let's off the wall. What's he doing? I, I, I warned him. <laughs> <laughs> lucky Violent Panda didn't quite see that. Yeah, he got lucky on that one, Violent Panda. Wasn't quite in a position to turn that around. Oh, but Scrub Killer will manage to get that one by and extends his lead just a little bit. Yeah, very nice little touch from Scrub Killer. Up and over. Elegant. So, should this have been a win for Scrub Killer? I think so. Probably by that first disconnect. I mean, I don't know. Both of the disconnects happened at a point where there wasn't a very decisive winner. Um, so, there's really no way to say for sure. Apologize for the dogs. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so, so like I said, you, even in that first game, yeah, the scoreline was three goals ahead for Scrub Killer, but there was a lot of game to play. You yeah. know, there, there was a lot left in store, and it could have been closed up. Uh, considering how competitive these games have been, I wouldn't really be too surprised, but um, yeah, right now just uh, I, I don't know. I mean, if that's the decision they want to make, if they want to stretch this out a bit and, and make this an official game three, then I mean that's fine. It's it's really up to the players here, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is not like a thousand dollar tournament. <laughs> You know, come on, people, relax. That's very true. It's up to them if they want to. At the end of the day, it's up to them what they decide. And, you know, they both agree. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. If they both want to play this game as the official game three, then we'll let them play it. That's that's both of their decision. They they had the choice. Scrub Killer could have said, Nah, you know, I mean, we already played two games that didn't finish, and I should have won them. And technically, I win this tournament. And that would have been fair, and that would have been within the rules. But now look. It doesn't. Does it even matter? Scrub Killer <laughs> is just crushing things. Six two is the scoreline. So yeah, Scrub Killer doesn't want to win via DC. He wants to win by scoring a, a lot of goals, which he's doing quite well right now, by the way. So, I mean, on the bright side, you get to watch more Rocket League. So you know. Yeah. So why are you guys complaining? Don't complain. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Oh. It's good stuff. It's quality. Rocket League. Not quite as competitive as the last couple games were. But, uh... But still, good stuff. 6-2. Nice couple we need for Scrub Killer. Whether Vine Panda could come back from this. Uh, Percy, I don't think so, but, you know. Unless he starts doing something amazing. Uh, we'll see. So I haven't seen any uh, as much demolishes at the moment. Go on, demolish him, scrub. You know you wanna. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked many a times in the past. Yeah, so far and it's not uh, starting to to kind of calm down a little bit now. So, but scrub kill it definitely in the uh, commanding position here. Not a very good clear, and he does get the seventh goal to punish that. So. Yeah, I mean, Scrub Killer will end up winning this series anyway. Yeah, you can tell he's so. just uh, doing some cheeky freestyle goals now. <laughs> just <laughs> show you what he can do. Yeah, at this point, you know, Scrub Killer will get the win regardless. Now he's just going to have a little bit of fun. And hopefully, Panda can close the gap a little bit. He does. He gets that third goal. 
I say, you said it now, Shalthus. He's going <laughs> to come back. Four more goals. <laughs> <laughs> the light speed comeback begins right now. Uh, uh, oh, oh <laughs> no, he came off the ball. If he had stayed on the ball, I think he would have gotten that, actually. Okay. And then he would have eaten my words. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think four goals in 20 seconds will be happening here. It'll be 8-3 for a minute, but I guess not. <laughs> Nah, it looks like Scrub Kill is just playing a little bit of keep away. He knows the series is done. Won't, he won't even let one more happen. He's like, no, we're done. Enough Rocket League. And there we go. And yep, rule one comes to an end. So there we go. So Scrub Kill officially, finally, wins this best of three series in five games. Uh... Oh, I don't even know why I readied up. I don't need to ready up. We are, we're good. We finished here, so. All right. Ready up. Ready up. Yeah, this one play. <laughs> no, no. I just, I'm just so used to it. <laughs> Readying up so much. All right. Well, with that series finally decided, now we are going to uh, take a look at how far the rest of the bracket has advanced. So maybe that was useful in just kind of hmm. getting things going forward a bit. Because I know we were a little behind in some areas of the bracket. So. Yeah, it seems to have all evened out now. Everyone's in their cores. Well, it looks like, actually, maybe we can stick with Scrub Killer. Because that looks to be the only match that hasn't quite started. Um, Pretty much. So that might be the best bet. If we go to the... Uh, to, we'll just follow Scrub Killer, I think. We'll just go to the next uh, quarterfinal matchup. And uh, we'll see how far this goes. But, uh, yeah, so I'll get that info shortly. Um, so, all right. <laughs> awesome. So there seems to be a lot of, uh, a lot of debate here. <laughs> you know, still, about, about what happened in that last game. <laughs> I mean, luckily I mean, Scrub won anyway, so regardless... Yeah, so there's, there's no controversy. The there's no... There's nothing to worry about. That's just... I mean, look. You know, like I said, this isn't a $1,000 tournament. This isn't even a $5 tournament. This is a $0, 0 0 Euro, 0 British Pound tournament. This is a 0 anything tournament. It is for fun. <laughs> it is just... You know... For good times. Hmm. And, uh... You know, yeah, did Scrub Killa technically officially win that? I think based off the rules, he might have. You know, just based off the disconnect and things like that. I don't know, though. I'm not an admin. I, I leave those decisions up to the admins whose job it is is to know the rules. That's not my job. Um, they decided it was up to the players. The players decided they would continue. So, so technically, that's the rule. <laughs> if an ESL admin says it's up to the players and the players decide to play on, it's official. So, we're done. No more debate. Scrub Killer won anyway. Go, guys. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't even go. matter. Scrub Killer wins. He will move on. We will follow him into the next round. So, I think his next opponent is Auri. What I think you that's how you pronounce it. I do not know. Oh, there you go. Well. But he is a uh, German player. Based off that, he just finished beating Zenid TV. So could make for an interesting series there. Uh, throughout the rest of the quarterfinals, just to give you an idea of where everything sits, uh, we've got Zamummy taking on Just Do It. We have Desca Del Hado taking on Trop. And uh, I think we have one more game here. I gotta go down a little bit lower. Brackets a big page here. Linkaru and Zumi Tail in the other match and those matches of course are underway that's the only reason we're not in there yet but it looks like we are just about ready to head into the next round hopefully I've been told what color the player will be which doesn't really matter so much because I don't have overlays for that in this particular series I just need no lobby info <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> but uh, you ain't got yeah, so fancy graphics. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, here we go. We've got our lobby info. If 
think we're good to join. And we're going to move into our next game, quarterfinal matchup. Ayuri versus Scrubkilla. Let's go ahead and pop into the game now. There it goes. <laughs> I always have OBS up on one screen, so I can constantly make sure that it's showing the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Right. But alright. I think we're good. I think we're ready. Maybe this will just be a best of three series and not a best of five slash best of three. <laughs> yes, that's right. No more confusion. That is the goal. So here we go. Five minutes. Game one. Scrub Killer taking on Ayuri in... Another best of three series in the quarterfinals. Winner will move on to the semis and carve a path to the finals. So, let's get down to business. Let's follow Yuri around. He is uh, the player we haven't seen. Scrub Killer, though. <laughs> Apparently, that, that trick doesn't work for Yuri, where <laughs> I say, I'll follow you around. And instead, he gets scored on. So, Scrub Killer starts the scoring early. Nice little bit of contact there. So, early 20-second goal. Could be the sign of a high-scoring game. Dude, looks pretty close to <laughs> me. On the get-go, I have no idea who Ori is. But he seems to be quite a decent player from the looks of it at the moment. Yeah. Ori with a nice little shot can off the kickoff there, basically, to get that goal. So, I don't know. I mean, it could be even, but it's hard to tell when it's so early, you know. But the play yeah. looks pretty good so far. I will say that, at least. Yeah, it seems to be a... Uh, there's definitely no outgo, outgoing... Uh, outright winner, or better player. Oh. But there's the demolish from Scrub yeah. That's what I like to see. <laughs> oh, he does yeah, manage to take yeah. advantage. <laughs> yeah, he just drove it past... Uh, you know, uh, I already thought he was going to go for an early hit, but he didn't. He waited, and then got a delayed hit. Just completely messed them up. And it completely threw off the replay because it had no idea where to... <laughs> I was following <laughs> Eerie on that, and apparently the replay started after the demo, so it's like, where is he? <laughs> uh, oh, but, uh, okay. oh. A little cross-check there by Eerie. Now trying to make a play up, but Scrub Killer pretty easily takes it off, but that's uh, a risky clear. Fortunately, I think it was hit so hard that it, even Eerie couldn't quite get to it. And he goes in to extend hmm. his score line a little bit further. There we go, yeah, nice little dribble touch there from Scrub. Once you get it past one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's nervous. Bless him, he's nervous. Yeah. Playing against Scrub. He's getting <laughs> casted. Yep. Being watched by literally dozens. <laughs> <laughs> I really have no idea how many viewers are watching right now, but that's okay. 178 in the room. Oh, very nice. There you go. Well, glad you could all be a part of this exciting affair. <laughs> Support Ari. Cheer him on. Yeah. Root <laughs> for the <laughs> nervous guy. <laughs> oh, 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 he no. was tempted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was tempted. That could only have gone badly if he had The that. voice in the back of the head was like, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, I saw the aerial play off the wall there. That's an okay wall shot to make, because at least you're there. If you're shooting it completely off the wall, that's where the risk comes in. So, still risky, but that one was a little bit better. He managed to get it over, uh, over Ari's head there. So, 4-1, your scoreline. Hopefully, Ari will work out these nerves before game two. Or maybe even during this game, and he can establish the comeback. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> And then, oh, oh, that was a chance. That was a chance. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, he knows it. He knows it. Yeah. That is a safe wall shot right there. I like how we start setting the rules, like never do a wall shot, and then, you know, the last two goals have come off of pretty nicely <laughs> done, well-timed wall shots. <laughs> hey, you can do wall shots if you pick the right moments. Just don't do it when someone's in goal, or, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, here comes an opening for Ari, but Scrub Killer does have to get it away. This wasn't quite quick enough there to take advantage of that. 
Yeah, he ended end up, Scorpio ended up kind of holding back off the kickoff, I think, just to gauge where the shot was going to come in from Aori instead of playing it in. And uh, went just a little too high, and he didn't come in to get the finish. Nice defensive stop. I think even Scrub Killa, plant encouraging him on. He's like, <laughs> you can do it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you know, he was supporting him earlier when you're saying he was nervous. Scrub Killa was like, hey, don't worry, you know, it's all cool. We're not playing for anything serious here. It's a bit of fun. Yep. All in good fun. But Scrub Killa looking very good thus far. Really trying to uh, kind of establish his road through the rest of this tournament. Not, it doesn't look like he's quite trying as hard to put the ball in the net as he was just a few moments ago. I think just trying to uh, see if Aori will make some plays of his own. Definitely. Oh, <laughs> that, that's not quite how you do it, but... <laughs> <laughs> he's trying that. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. Scrub's being a lot more patient now, isn't he, this game? Just kind of waiting for Aori to do his thing. Yeah, he definitely is. He's, he's certainly not uh, giving anything away, but uh, he's not exactly trying his hard. And there's a good shot by Aori. Closes the gap a little bit. 2-5 is your scoreline. And uh, take this and get more goals. <laughs> he's got 50 seconds to get... <laughs> to get three more goals. Ride the wave of momentum. Oh, he ramps off the back of Scrub Killer, but then gets completely taken out. <laughs> well, you know, oh, that air oh, that, dribble. That was beautiful. <laughs> that air dribble, though. <laughs> beautiful play here. Scrub Killer plays it off the wall, but sticks with it. Keeps the contact going to get it past Aori. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too much for most people. So, uh, <laughs> don't you worry, Aori. That is too much for almost anybody. <laughs> He's breaking all my rules here. He's got, like, three wall goals in, in one game. I know. Don't do, don't do another. Don't do another scrum. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just showing off. <laughs> but Kooksier has said, if you can't do it with style, don't bother doing it at all. <laughs> something, something, something to those, that effect. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, could be a bit of an opening, but I don't think he's going to be able to get to it in time to really do much more here. So, final few seconds will tick off the clock. Another aerial off the wall goal, or no, at least a shot. But there you have it. So, first game will go to Scrub Killer in, uh, I would say, pretty convincing fashion, even if the scoreline isn't necessarily completely tilted you know that was definitely in game the uh, gameplay was much more in favor of scrub killer so yes definitely i think uh, uh Aure said himself i think scrub's just a bit too too much for him at the moment pulling off stuff that yeah i can't exactly do as well and that could happen even this deep in the tournament, especially depending on the road through the tournament that's taken. Uh, you know, maybe some players of significantly higher skill will be able to kind of show off a bit more. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it certainly looks like that's what we're dealing with here. Scrub Killa in a much more comfortable position, I think, to take game two here. But he has not been able to put anything on the board yet. Give him time. Young one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's coming. <laughs> oh, it's coming. You better believe it. It is definitely about to come. But, uh... Nice little wall stop. Sends a cross pitch. Close. I mean, he's been on the red half a lot. He's getting his attacks in. Ooh, again. Ooh, ooh. He loves breaking my rule. He loves it. And, uh. <laughs> that was a good cool <laughs> touch from Scrub there. Oh, right, almost. Oh. I mean, he does get a save, but fortunately, Scrub's just there to put yeah. it back in. 
It was a very nice stop. It's just hard to, uh, when you get that stop, follow up and actually get it completely out of harm's way. <clears throat> but, really nicely done. Maybe the nerves have died down a little bit. I'm not sure. But the scoreline is broken, or at least the clean sheet is broken, I should say. And Scrub Killa, with the one goal lead, still kind of playing a little bit of keep away here. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe just trying to get more wall shots to prove us wrong. <laughs> Make Maybe. every goal a wall shot. <laughs> oh, but Auri takes advantage of his showboating and equalizes the game. So game two here gets a little more interesting. That's what happens when you showbot, when you showboat. <laughs> That's what happens when you go off the woos. I've told you, Scrub. <laughs> See? Every time. We know what we're talking about. <laughs> so, equal score sheet. Are we trying to pull off some sick dribbles, but uh, not quite sick enough? Because now the ball going back down pitch, Scrub Killer. Looks to get an opening. Oh, but it does get disrupted a little bit, and he can't quite redirect it back in on net. Oh, on Is that a wall now. shot? <laughs> it was. <laughs> Is that a wall shot, Ari? Yeah, I didn't uh, buy him in the arse there, so it's fine. Yeah, he got lucky. <laughs> it nearly did. It was turning around, but... Uh, yeah, he got lucky. So, still 1-1. <laughs> one, one. Much, much closer game than previously. I don't know how much of that has to do with Scrub Kill. It kind of easing off the gas a bit. I think Ori's definitely picked up. He's, he's not quite, uh, you know, just... Oh! There you, ask, there you go, that's proven. Like, he's just kind of picking his moments well. Going for, uh, you know, the right hits at the right time. Not just going for any old thing. He's definitely, uh, I, th I think he said he was nervous. I think he's, he's uh, calmed his nerves quite a lot more now. I think he's getting into Yeah, it. I think so. I think his performance has improved, and that, that certainly helps a lot, too. When you start playing a little bit better, you feel a little bit better about how you're going to approach the rest of the game. But Scrub Killer gets a very quick equalizer in response. <laughs> nicely stolen, yeah, right? Nicely stolen right off the wall. And Scrub Killer gets the big finish, so. 2-2 two -two is the scoreline. Still over two minutes to go. <laughs> no mercy when I'm losing. No mercy at all. Be competitive. Oh, and here comes good play by Auri to get the advantage back. Oh, stop skipping replays when I want to watch them. Yeah, they're into it. They just <laughs> want to keep playing. Especially I know. Space. I don't blame them, but still. <laughs> I want another big opening for Auri here, but Scrub Killer will get to it just in time, but he doesn't quite clear it away. Oh, Nicely done. That's perfect. See, he, he, he hit it up to uh, Scrub, just waited for him to get his defensive hit, knowing that he wasn't going to get much on it from his position. And then uh, just takes it right off him, right afterwards. So, it's exactly what he should have done in that situation, <laughs> and he did it perfectly. Yep, very nice stuff. So, a good advantage now for Auri. Two goals up now. Looking much better. I think Scrub Killer thought, well, <laughs> a good goal there. To close the gap up a bit. I was going to say, I think Scrub Killer thought he could just have his way with this guy, but uh, Ari proving he is uh, a bit of a force to be reckoned with. He's shaking the nerves and he's coming out swinging. Oh, and a nice touch in midair by Scrub Killer, but it just goes a little wide. That was actually a very attractive looking shot. Yeah, I've seen that quite a lot with Scrub Killer. He likes to. Uh... Hit it up, the tap and smash, as we call it. <laughs> Hits it up and then uh, tries to get that extra little hit, you know, lob over him. Oh, it's a big opening, though, for Auri. But, oh, it goes too high and down he goes. Big <laughs> demo. Ball is a little too far out to be too much of a threat right now. So Auri will be able to recover and try and turn it around again. So again, a lot more brutal now, it's good to see. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's definitely looking much more impressive. And here's a big opening. Oh, but Scrub Killer gets to it just in time. We'll try to get the equalizer here, but it's still off point. Maybe Scrub Killer knows he's got to bring the heat. And he does. Equalizer. 37 seconds left to play. Yeah, that was.
was uh, just exactly what he needed. I think Ari uh, didn't expect him to get that much power on it. But uh, yeah, he did. played it off into center pitch pretty nicely and just drilled it home. So now quite a bit of time left, enough opportunity for either player to get a go ahead. And oh, that was a nice little play by Ari. Tapped it just a little bit and caused Scrub Killer to bite. Yeah, it's a bit uh, tense at the moment. None of them, well, they're all both of them being extremely careful not to make any kind of mistake. So that's a bit of a slow play by play going on here. And just oh, as I say that, <laughs> just as you say that, <laughs> there is the uh, the goal that will likely decide this series. Just gets floated in, and Auri really can't make a commit to it. 5-4 now with 12 seconds to go. Auri's going to have to pull something big out of his hat, try and tie this thing up. seconds to do it. This would be something if he does this. Oh, but Scrub Killer stops that attempt. And yeah, we're going back the other way. And there you have it. So, unfortunately, Auri could not pull it off. A much closer game looked a lot better. But Scrub Killer will be moving on to the semifinals. In a very convincing way. So... Well, that was a. I, I, I'm, I'm impressed with you know, despite losing, I'm impressed with Ari's ability to, uh, you know, start off a bit slow, a bit making a bit too many mistakes, and then he comes back and, you know, pulls that out and uh, almost gets almost gets a win at the end. But Scrub Killer was just a little bit too good for him at the moment, I think. Yeah, he uh, he definitely came out of that looking a lot better, at least in that second game. You know, much more impressive. <laughs> I think they've noticed your headwear. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, right? I forgot I had it on. I was like, oh, I'll just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so semifinals. Let's see where we're standing now in the bracket. One semifinal match is set. Desca Del Hado moves on to take on Just Do It. And on the other half, we've got Scrub Killer. Who will be taking on Zoomy Tail? Dun dun dun. Oh, wow. So I think we will go into that one. Because why not? I think eh? because not? that best of three series went five games, uh, we, we've gone a little bit behind. <laughs> so we're just going to stick with Scrub Killer because his games seem to be the only ones that aren't already underway. So, but yeah, so. We are looking at uh, so Zumi Tail and Scrub Killer in one match, Desga Del Hado and Just Do It on the other end. One of those players, or sorry, two of those players, will be meeting in the finals in just a few. So, I have no idea who Just Do It is, but he's obviously got to be quite a good player if he's made it to the semis already. Well, he just did it, so that's, there you that's go. all. Abide by his <laughs> namesake. He just he just continued to do it and uh, has done it. But can he keep doing it? Desca Del Hado is uh, going to be a difficult task for him, for sure. So we will see how that goes. We're going to head straight into that next match, I believe, here. Indeed, like plan. indeed. Why wait? No need for delays. Hop straight into the action. So, we're going to stick with Scrub Killer for a little bit longer. Well, possibly, well, I don't know. Possibly for the rest of this tournament, depending on how he plays this game. But, here we go. Don't let us down now, Scrub Killer. Oh, this, this should be really close, I can tell you right now. Zumi, uh, Zumi's a, a good 1v1 player. So, uh, expect a close game here, everybody. Especially with a uh, scrub on the other side. All right. Oh, thank you for the donation. Ooh, much appreciated. Every dollar counts. Thank you very, very much. I, I don't have any of those like fancy overlays while I'm doing tournaments because I don't know. That just seems a little weird. 
Well, it's not exactly like this is the most professional thing, so <laughs> I could have had that. <laughs> I'll probably set up a scroll thing at some point, just so it's a little less conspicuous. But anyway, already started. Scrub kill in blue, zoomy tail, and orange, of course, and uh, definitely looking very high level so far. Don't you play it off the wall? I saw I saw Scrub Killer thinking about that. <laughs> I saw him thinking I'm gonna he play it off the wall. He could have done it though. He was already level. Cool. That was the time to do it. But yeah, you know, it worked in. <laughs> well, that was not too bad either. Little shot here. Low off the wall. That one doesn't really count because you can get down in time. But actually, he comes in and kind of throws Zoomy Tail off a bit. So, nice play there. Gets the opening goal. So, Scrub Kill setting the pace early here. I'm sure he yeah. would love a nice, comfortable lead. And I'm sure Zoomy Tail would equally love to prevent that. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, you bet he would. He's a. Zoom isn't one to go down without a fight. And, uh, as I say that. Oh! Come on, that, 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 I mean, that's close. That's too, that's too close for comfort, that is. But Zoom is doing pretty well here to, uh, keep his defense up. Does needs to start turning it around here. Good little floating shot, and he does beat Scrub Killer to that. Sent it up in the air just in time and manages to. Put it away before Scrub Killer can really react. So let's follow Zoomy Tail around here. Zoomy, 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 zoomy. What's that? Three. Oh wow, three minutes. See, it's funny when the uh, the score is quite low, the game goes by a lot quicker. That's, uh, well, you know, no, you know, no replays, no delays. Everything's just constantly going. So it does tend to have time pretty quickly. Oh, and a good opening for Zoomy Tail, but he's just a little off. Tried to score the old classic. Oh! oh. Yeah, Zoomy was too far out there, so that goal... Relatively easy for Scrub Killa. Surprised Zoomy went out so far. I think he went to get the boost, but he ended up costing him, because he just went out too far. Yeah, I see that from quite a lot. In one v ones, people tend to go to the boost when they shouldn't do. But uh, it's hard to decide. You know, you need, everyone needs boost. Sometimes yeah. you just get it at the wrong time. It costs you. Oh, oh it's scrub kill. <laughs> Very nice follow up on that. A little bit of a backflip, sets himself up, and gets the finishing touch there to extend his lead even further. Yeah, Scrub is uh, quite, you know, he's not too aggressive, but he's not always oh. But, uh, you know, he's placing his shots well at the moment. And uh, he's not letting Zoomy get too many opportunities, which is good to see from him. Yeah, that was just a well-placed shot there off the wall. Good positioning by Scrub Killer to get his car right in the spot where that ball was going to come down so he could redirect it into the net. Yeah, Scrub Killer looking surprisingly dominant here in this early going game one. He has played more Rocket League than anybody thus far in this tournament. <laughs> yes, that's true. And uh, experience goes a long way. And there's the demolition. Oh. That's what we like to see from Zoomy. <laughs> yeah, that could be a big demo. Now he's just got to try and take advantage of it. But Wait a bit. Waited a bit too long there. Yeah, so Scrub. Take a bit of scrub definitely had the time to get back up. He's clear back to the opposite. The though. He, oh wow, he's going for the bash here, that's the zoomy. Left yeah. right center. Keeping Scrub away from that ball. But uh, I think Scrub's just, you know, doing some good work back and forth there. Keeping, you know, the ball away from him as much as he can. Alright, Zoomy Tail does get a nice shot on goal, but Scrub Killer manages to get inside there and he gets taken out. Could be a big opening for Zoomy Tail here. But no. So far, I mean, Scrub Kill are getting a lot of good breaks. Very good chances that are kind of tilting his way. And uh, Zoomy's just having a hard time really taking advantage of any mistakes that he makes. And that might yeah, end up costing him this first game, but I don't know. I think, uh, I think, I don't think the next game's going to be closer. But Zoomy, uh, you know, he's, he's maybe just 
waiting a bit too long to uh, see some opportunities. Where it comes, you know, a bit of a faster player. But, oh, there you go. I'm showing there, Zumi is getting some, you know, opportunities to score here. He just needs to, uh, you know, capitalise on them. And uh, he should do well. Ooh. <laughs> that one. Like that. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that was a bit <laughs> ugly. Zumi kind of rode that ball all the way down pitch. And, uh,. Couldn't quite get the clear he needed, so he just ended up setting up Scrub Killer for a fifth goal, extending the lead even further, basically securing that this thing is done, said and done, for uh, for Scrub Killer here, at least in game one. Yeah, That's Zoomy Tail. Yeah. Oh. back now. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, yeah, I think the I think the gap is a little insurmountable at this point. Especially after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Zumi's just got to, you know, try and sort sort out stuff on his end. You know, try and come back with a you know, fresh fresh start. Maybe uh, seize those opportunities a bit more. See what happens. Yeah, agreed. He's just going to have to... You know, he's had a game now to see exactly what he's dealing with with Scrub Killer, how he's, you know, the type of attacks he's going to have to counter, and uh, hopefully it's enough that he can actually start to put a little more on goal. He's had a few decent shots, but not really enough. There's one that will finally convert. Obviously, too late to do anything, but you know, if you score late, then it could potentially start that momentum early in the next game. So. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. The potential is there that that could be a good little move there, and he is figuring out exactly, you know, what he needs to do. But oh, and the <laughs> <laughs> saves that one. The big big last save second. there. Yeah, big save prevents that goal. Nicely played. So, all right, game one will indeed go to Scrub Killer. And, uh, Zumi's left. Uh, Great. Well, mm -hmm. we'll give him a moment. Maybe he just needed to uh, clear his thoughts. <laughs> but uh, oh, Scrub Killer joined, and he shouldn't have joined because he shouldn't have joined. Zumzi's not in yet. All right. Well, we're going to rehost. All right, one nil to Ryan, and there we go. That's what we like to see. Doomsie wins. <laughs> <laughs> Doomsie wins to the finals. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, interesting that last game. It was a uh, ten, ten shots to a, uh, to a uh, scrub killer, and it was nine to Zumi. So it was extremely close. It's just Zumi uh, didn't seem to uh, score quite so much. It wasn't quite as accurate. And scrub may have had a better bit of better bit of fence. So uh, yeah. Just product, just the effectiveness on those shots definitely was in favor of Scrub Killer, mm. for sure. No, that's fair, right? But uh, interesting that Zumi goes to change his card in the middle of a tournament, <laughs> in the middle of a series. <laughs> Seriously, he, he he needs a new card. He needs to win this game. That's what he needs to do. I think he needs Scarab. I think that's uh, oh yeah, that's, right. that's the the winning the winning car is Scarab. See? Even the dogs agree. Scarab, best car. <laughs> scarab, scarab, scarab. <laughs> uh, no sign of Zumi, even though he is in the game. There, uh, we, there we go. All right. They both make it in in time. Let's see. The new car works. There we go. Straight up. <laughs> right <Dominus>. away. <laughs> <laughs> Dominating with Dominus. And the... And the shades. <laughs> The deal with it shades. Ah, uh, yes. Cl clearly a wise choice. Nice save by Zoomy Tail. Prevents that equalizer. Apparently, it was a smart choice switching off of Hotshot. <laughs> because now, <laughs> Zoomy looking like a far different player. Oh, didn't quite stop that one, but still pretty good. Got to turn it around. Can't let these shots keep happening. Yeah, I think every shout, every shoutcast, I mentioned my uh, my big rule of thumb, which is you know, 
if the opportunities keep happening, something is bound to go in. And uh, it's never been proven wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That's very true. And uh, speak of which, <laughs> there's your equalizer. Scrub Killer gets plenty of shots, and one of them eventually goes in. You keep that offensive pressure up, even if you don't score on every single one. You know, you're you're forcing your opponent to sit back on defense, and they don't have enough time to put something together themselves. And there you go. That's what happens. Again, uh, zooming is on the defense, which uh, is a bit different than the last game, per se. But uh, you know, it's one all. Already a minute gone. See how this uh, goes. Oh. Bit risky there by Zumi to go for the boost. <laughs> and that ended up putting him out of position. Yeah, it's a hard time to decide when to go for boost in a in a 1v1 situation. Yeah. Especially when you're scrub kid on the end, shooting balls from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. He might have been able to stop that. Oh, and he hit the lip of the goal! Oh, I think hitting that edge of the goal is what threw him off there. You can see Zoomy Tail comes in and he just catches that edge of the goal there, and ends up throwing him up in the air. <laughs> that's uh, that's 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 just annoying. That's just he must be so distraught off that. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst thing when you yeah. get that. Lip. that that little curved lip of the goal is is a nightmare. I, I you know I'm certainly no good player, but even I've hit that a few times and had everything I was trying to do get completely disrupted. Oh, big pinch sends that ball downfield. But it gets turned completely around. Huge stop by Scrub Killer. Manages to get to it just in the nick of time. But this could be a good opening for Zoomy Tail to try and set something up. Or at least start applying some pressure. I mean, that will work too. If you can apply a little more constant pressure, then that's good. Yeah, it's definitely. It's good to see Zoomy on the other side of the pitch now. You know, now he's attacking. And oh. there you go. A little bit of dribbling gets him around Scrub Killer. Helps go within one of tying this game up. I can sense this going in. There yep. Go. Big equalizer there. We follow Zoomy Tail. Ball gets sent up and over and easily tapped in. So. Alright, so tying goal here. For Zoomy Tail, still half the game left to play, though. Oh yeah, there's uh, plenty of time here. But I mean, it looks very much in Zoomy's. Well, I think it's balanced out a bit, but Zoomy's definitely attacking more now, so hence the uh, equalizer. But uh, yeah, it should be interesting to see where the, where this game goes. Zoomy's definitely playing a lot better than uh, you know than the first round, first game even. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Scrub Kill has had to pull off a little bit extra to try and get something past Zumi, um, which could dictate something of what happens in Game 3, assuming that Zumi can manage to win this one, but I don't think Scrub Killer wants this to go to a Game 3. Nice little bit of contact on this shot here. Plays it off the corner and then just sends it home. Okay, and it's that boost going, isn't it? He decided a bit too late to go for that boost, ended up you know, preventing it from going back in time. To make the make the save. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Zumi nearly got that one passed, but he manages to finish it. So, good follow through here. This early shot, I mean, it was looking really good. He nearly got that passed Scrub Killer, but because Scrub overcommitted, he could uh, Zumi could play off that rebound very nicely. So we're tied yet again. Four four is your score line here. Once again, you're watching the ESL 1v1 Aerial Cup. This is the semi-finals best of three series. Winner will move on to the finals, and uh, we will see who they actually go up against. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if that series has been decided quite yet. Well, at the moment, nope. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go, there's your answer. Nope. They'll be playing nope in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, every round of this tournament is best of three, including the finals, so we will be bringing you that immediately following this series. Of course, once all matches are decided. 
But, uh... Oh, it's Scrub Killer. Sneaks that go-ahead goal. Steals it right off the front of Zumi Tail's car. Nicely played. It's a wide open shot on net. And we're definitely getting a lot of back and forth here in the final few minutes, final minute and a half or so of play just to try and establish some level of dominance. And despite, I think both players are rocking dominance right now, uh, neither truly has domination yet. <laughs> yeah, now truly equal in their cars. Well, one does have to deal with it sunglasses, so, you know, that could that uh, an edge over your opponent. <laughs> that is very true. The sunglasses are being worn indoors, which you only do when you are the coolest. <laughs> so, only cool people wear sunglasses indoors. And we are technically indoors here, I believe, but Scrub Killer is plenty cool himself. Manages to get a second goal, extend his lead late in the game here. Could be cutting an easy path to the finals. Oh, but Zumi sends a nice shot up. Good stop there by Scrub Killer. Those can be very tricky to really try and stop when they're coming in so high like that. Oh, big yeah. demo. That the could be a back. huge opening. And it will not happen. And I think Scrub Killer has taken this game here and will be moving on to the finals. Yeah, he has this guaranteed now. There's literally no way that Zumi Tail can win this. You can only score one goal possibly in zero second time, but no Scrub Killer takes advantage of rule one. And there we go. Seven four to Scrub Killer. Scrub Killer's definitely playing real so. well. Good thing we stuck with him, eh? He's playing well this tournament. Yeah, I mean, I figured we, we were certainly going to stick with whoever was winning these games. <laughs> that just happened to be how it would work out. But uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, good showing all around. So, uh, there we go. So, first semi, or first finalist is set. And I know we're just waiting on the other end of the bracket, I think, at this point. Descadejado. I can't say his name. Desca del Hado. <laughs> <laughs> you say it better, you say it better. Anyway, Desca del Hado, yes. Desca del Hado, there you go. <laughs> Desca del Hado. <laughs> and just do it. I can say just do it. There you go. Yeah. It you can't say just do it, just do it works out. Yeah, so waiting on the result of that, uh, and the winner, of course, will move on to meet Scrub Killer in the finals. One last game, and then we're done. Or one last series, and then we're done here. We've only had one series that has gone more than three games which is amazing considering <laughs> it's you know a best of three tournament but uh yeah we've saw we've seen some really competitive rocket league this tournament I, I've, I've enjoyed what we've been seeing so oh. i'm pretty pleased with how these results have been i've been panning out scrub kill has been looking very impressive and uh i think if he decides to continue competing after this week he could be a force to be reckoned with in this tournament for sure. Mm. So, yes, we shall uh, see. Definitely playing. Well, be interesting finals to see. So, uh, if Desca Dohado gets through to the finals, we'll see him again. See what he's done. Meet up with him. But you know, this unknown just do it. He could. I have no idea how good he is. He could suddenly come up with an upset, but you know. That's uh, part of the excitement. It is, yeah. So I'm being I'm being asked to read the donation, and I, and I certainly will be more than obliged. I know that without the donation memo up here, I have to try and track that down. <laughs> so, because I obviously don't have the uh, um, <laughs> you know, thing that pops up yeah, on the yeah, screen yeah. and says, "Woo." You have a tip. You have a donation. Ah, well, how's the chat doing? Oh damn, we've got a lot of viewers, Shafis. Yeah, how are you guys doing out there? Everyone's coming to join the party. It is, it's party time. Alright, message says, uh, tell Doomsy he will always be Graham number two, NR2. Cheers from right. his friend. 
Is that Kong Harold? Kong Harold the yeah. seventh. Thank you very much for the donation. Good sir. Much, much appreciated. Yeah, I don't have any uh, Twitch alerts up right now. I do have Twitch alerts. That's what I do all my stuff through, but I don't have them up for tournaments. Um, mainly because it uh, it would be a bit ridiculous. I get a lot of follows during tournaments, and uh, I have a lot of alerts for that sort of stuff. Yeah, you don't want to... Don't want, well, you know, don't want to wear your cost. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing the breaks. Yes, you can sign up for these tournaments, absolutely. Whether you're NA or EU, um, there are different tournaments you can sign up for. Just go, just type in exclamation point sign up, and you will get a link to ESL's Rocket League page. All of the ESL tournaments are there. E NA, EU, Oceania, South America, you name it. So whatever region you're in, you can sign up for some kind of tournament. NA right now only has the Sunday NA Cups, which are big 3v3 tournaments. But EU has 1v1s today, 2v2 tomorrow, and Nordic 2v2, the Sunday 3v3, because EU number one. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, ACL is a European company, so. <laughs> yeah. Kind of European stuff. It does make sense. And I know that uh, they have just started off a. or They will be starting soon a. German Premium Cup with a 150 right. euro prize pool, um, but you, there's a limited country range for that, and you have to be a Premium ESL Play subscriber to participate. But uh, yeah, so that's where we sit right now. All right, so we are waiting on the finals. I'm going to give this one more refresh here, see if that has been decided. Well, of course, Doomsy looks professional. He is uh, <laughs> the most professional. I couldn't be more professional. <laughs> couldn't be. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Still waiting on the result of the other semifinal match, Desga Delhado, and just do it. Once that is decided, we will be hopefully going straight into the finals. It is not too late to sign up for tomorrow's tournament. And uh, once again, if you're just joining us, I will be shoutcasting tomorrow's 2v2 tournament alongside Cool Cole from Team Rocket. So, you know Cole. A lot of people know Cole. Everybody knows Cole. No, that guy. That guy, yeah. <laughs> so, it's kind of the week of Team Rocket. <laughs> Maybe I should shoutcast Thursday with, uh, with Tree. <laughs> yeah, you could do that, actually, couldn't you? Yeah, Although, you know, oh, Tree doesn't speak much. He's a bit of a quiet tree. <laughs> he is. Then again, that's what trees are. Trees don't typically talk very much, so that's fair. But uh, nah, that's true. If you want to sign up for tomorrow's <laughs> tournament, just go to the website again. Exclamation point. Sign up. Click that link. Get. You got to sign up for an account with ESL. It's free. Register an account with ESL. Uh, and then just follow the instructions. I don't know. I don't sign up for tournaments. I shoutcast them. I don't play. I, I play, but I'm terrible. So I don't compete. <laughs> Other you people just... don't need to know how terrible I am. <laughs> if they do, they right. can just watch me play my own stream. Yeah, not worry. I can play. I can't shoutcast. You can't play. You, you can shoutcast, you know. Everybody well, has well. their role. <laughs> it's my lot in life. To be a terrible player, but a good shoutcaster. I take pride in that, at least, that I seem to know what I'm doing on this side of the game. Yes, is that right? Um, yes, Shogun is a great caster as well. I will certainly say that, for sure. I saw him cast uh, this past Friday's Gfinity with Freezing Wolves, and that was good stuff. But Yeah, I didn't get a chance to see that. Is it fun? Good old Shogun. I've always wanted to see Shogun shoutcast. I should go watch it. I should go watch the VODs. Alright, so the semis, what's going on? Let's get a huddle. And just do it. Still battling out, are they? Yes, yep. they are. If it has been decided, it has not been decided on the bracket, at least. <laughs> mm, that's true.
See, I'm not sure. I just got asked something about twisters. I, I'm not even really sure what twisters are, to be honest. If it's something that... Like, if it's some kind of... Iced Tw treat. Twisters are ice lollies. Okay. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think they're a British thing. But yeah, we have them here. They're really, <laughs> yeah. really good. They're like ice cream, but like with ice lolly stuff in it. It's oh. like a twirl. It's, Sounds fantastic. It's, it's really good. It's really tasty. Let's, uh, let's take this time while we're waiting on the finals. I think we're still waiting on the finals. Yes, still waiting on the finals. While we're doing that, let's uh, let's Google Twisters. Oh, mate, yeah, it's so good. It's just showing me pictures of tornadoes. That's not what I want. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> or the movie. Just... <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, we don't have those here. At least I don't think we do. Oh, I've never seen out. those in, in America. Yeah, I cast EU, but I am about as far removed from there as you can get. Unfortunately. Oh, there's a lot. I think there's a lot of stuff here. You guys don't get um, what are they called? What are they called? The Kinder know. eggs? Is that what they're called? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah I Kinder eggs. I, what the hell? I did not get Kinder eggs. I I swear they've changed, or or the the law on that has slightly changed. I think that there's a version of of Kinder egg that we can get now, but it's not quite the same. Uh, I don't know. It, it's like. I know the like the regular Kinder eggs are just like completely chocolate, and then there's the little like pellet with the prize in the center. But I think oh, yeah, yeah. in to have them sold here, like the edge where the egg separates has to show the plastic, so that it's not just something in the middle of candy. Because that's been the biggest problem, is that the Kinder eggs had like something in food, you know? Oh right, yeah. And that's apparently what the big issue was, because you know apparently we're just a bunch of idiots here. <laughs> and we'll just like cram eggs into our face without any disregard for what's inside. But nah, that, that's what that's what Americans are like apparently, so we can't be trusted to not choke to death on a giant come on. Has anybody ever choked to death on a kinder egg? That wasn't a complete idiot. Someone must have done. Otherwise they wouldn't have made that look. You never really know, I guess, but I mean if you have a cream egg, I just Shove the entire thing in my mouth in one go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have cream eggs. Do you have? Oh yeah. Do you, do you yeah, have, yeah. Do you have cream eggs? Cadbury. Good. Yeah. Yep. Good. Good. Yeah, we have those at least. Ah, <laughs> because oh, if you didn't have cream eggs, just I don't know what we do. I would have to any time I go to America, I'd have to bring them, bring them down. You know. Good old cream eggs. <laughs> this is what we like to do on so this stream. When there's no matches, <laughs> and we're waiting for a match. We like to talk about chocolate. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's better than the alternative, which is just switching to a blank screen and playing an ad or something. I've <laughs> I've run zero ads this this whole tournament, so right, right. I hope you all are enjoying this this ad free presentation. <laughs> At least as ad free <laughs> as I can make it. I haven't deliberately done anything. But uh, well, I know what we can do. Why don't you tell our fantastic viewers about a little tournament that Team Rocket is hosting? Oh yeah, that's a <laughs> that might be a thing. What I didn't forget about that. <laughs> well, anyway, on uh, starting on the thirty first of October, two thousand and fifteen, i.e., this Saturday, we are hosting a uh, a tournament, three v three tournament for subscribers of Team Rocket RL. So, if you're a subscriber from starting on the thirty first, uh, you uh, you can form a team, you can sign up. You can uh, you know have a good three v three tournament, and then we'll be casting the semi-finals and the finals, and we put putting that on subpar but in HD our YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, the winner of the tournament gets uh, gets their own Team Rocket RL emote, so you can spam it away on every stream you see ever. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there you go. That's, uh, there's there's details somewhere on our Twitter. That's on our Twitter. It's pinned, so everything you need to know is just on our on our Perfect. Twitter. Yeah, and there's and, uh, a great little accompanying video too, which I watched. Uh, yes. So, yeah, so there you go. Perfect, all set. But uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we are getting smoking rockets, one v one, scrub killer, and Desca Delhado in the final here. 
So just need the lobby info. Once we get that, we're going to go straight into the final and see who is the best member of Smoke and Rockets. At least out of these two. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The contest. Alright. Here's your money on. Uh, it's a good question. I mean, we've been following Scrub Killer around, so we know basically what he's capable of. We did see a little bit of Desca Del Hado earlier. Um, I don't know what the score lines looked like in his games or what his games have looked like thus far, but I, I, I probably still have to lean a little bit towards Scrub Killer just based off what we've seen so far and how he played dealing with uh, Sumi Tail um, and some other, you know, very capable players. So. Hmm. That's true. It's going to be an interesting, interesting battle. Alright, so once we get the lobby info, I think we'll be good to go. That's all I'm waiting on now, my friends. I apologize for the delay. I don't like delays. Even though this has been a much more effective use of time than uh, just going to an ad. But <laughs> Alright, I think we are finally ready to go here. It looks like it's the same lobby as before. Fantastic. I don't have to type anything extra. Good times. All right. Well, let's pop into the game view. Get into your spectate mode. We'll keep an eye on the ball and an eye on the eggs. I'm updating the match command now. Wait. Why am I in with you? This is weird. What? Did you not come in? Yeah. Oh. Well, let, let, let me give you... Hold on. Yay. Yay. There's the lobby and the password. I typed that to you cool. in Skype. So. Joining friend. Yay, I'm in. Alright. Match command has been updated. Right in the nick of time. <laughs> cool. So. Here we go. Looks like we are ready. Players have chosen their sides. Smoking Rockets 1v1. Desga Del Hado, Scrub Kill, a best of three in the finals. So Scrub Kill is clearly the team to beat, not just in 3v3, but also in 1v1, dominating the whole of competitive Rocket League. Now if these two do a 2v2 team and start playing that way, then <laughs> I think hopes will be dashed for everybody. Oh, Scrub Kill basically just set up Desga Del Hado on that shot. Makes a little bit of a touch there that is easily taken advantage of. And there... Is your opening goal? Good start from Des there. It's uh, looking a pretty uh, unanimous even game. Oh, and I thought <laughs> that would go in from that kickoff. Yeah, that was uh, that was extremely close. And of course, Deska plugging the uh, the Twitch channel. <laughs> so I'll allow it. I don't mind. How dare he! He gets to plug it every time he scores, so that, that's the trade-off. <laughs> you have to score in order to get to appropriately plug your Twitch stream. I suppose that's fair. Yeah, I figure that's that's the the cost. Do well, and you get to plug your Twitch stream. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's still being plugged right now, but you know, it's a lot harder to see when it's not being splashed across the screen in big bright letters. So, <laughs> oh, that's the perfect time to go off the wall. Oh. Good timing, yes. Desca Del Hado was way behind him. Scrub Killer makes a nice play. High off the wall. <coughs> no chance anybody could get to it. Didn't even touch the ground before it went in the net, so... Well on point. <laughs> <laughs> right, that should be true. Oh. for Des. Well, I would, Des, but look, you're not winning. What are you doing, mate? Come on. <laughs> yeah. If you want to be cheered for, you got to win. Score. And you get cheered for. I'm a, I'm a glory hunter. This is all about, all about bandwagoning. 
We only support the players who are winning. Go scrub killer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, scrub killer actually looking very good so far. Got a nice play off that kickoff to get his second goal. And uh, yeah, I certainly expect this to be a much more competitive game. But scrub killer just has been looking really dominant all throughout the tournament. Even when he's forced to play games extra or over again <laughs> and prove that he's capable, he certainly does so. Nice. Uh, Scrub does look like he is playing a better game at the moment, despite still being a fairly close close match for 3-1. But I think Scrub's taking his opportunities a lot, a lot more carefully. Oh. And as I say as that, obviously, <laughs> the, the cast of <laughs> As you say it. Caster Curse comes in and Desca Delhado with a very nice floating shot there. Gets it past Scrub Killer. Closes the gap a little bit more. Oh, well timed. Sneaks it right underneath Scrub Killer on the kickoff. Well played. In 1v1, you know, the kickoff is just as much strategy as the rest of the game. Oh, just yeah. Just timing when you want to go in because you can sometimes pull off goals like that. Yeah, there's uh, quite a lot of kickoff goals that happen, or just opportunities that leave from a you know a decent. Yeah. Kickoff. Oh yeah, exactly. Nice little aerial bit of contact. Scrub Killer does turn it around, and oh, Desca Delhado was in a good spot to nearly redirect that back in, but he couldn't quite do it. Now Scrub Killer playing it up pitch. Doesn't really get anything going though. Just oh, want to bide his time on. a little bit, find that gap in the. Uh, in the defense. Oh, a little nice little floater there. And Desga Delhado can't turn around fast enough to get in front of that. Ooh, bit of aerial contact. But Scrub Killer gets to it first. Has a nice shot on goal. And I will say, it, it's it's tilting a little bit more back to uh, Desga Delhado. Oh, oh. And with that, there you go, like you said. Yeah, exactly. With that tilt, back in his favor is the scoreline, is the game. Another chance to plug his Twitch stream. So. <laughs> That's all he cares about. Plugging his Twitch stream. <laughs> That's what matters. Now he's here. winning, I have to cheer for him. So go, Desk. <laughs> Ooh, this could be a big opportunity for Scrub Killer, but Desga does manage to recover in time. Nice little cross check, though, by Scrub Killer to take him off the ball. He did have a pretty good straightforward shot until Scrub Killer came in and just kind of checked right into him. A little bit of that physical play that worked so well. I said it, and uh, yeah, I see players doing it. Oh, here's a good opening for Desga Delhado if he can get some speed on that ball, and a good demolition! <laughs> Takes Scrub Killer out before he can stop that. And he extends his lead 5 3 with a minute and a half to play. Nicely done. Scrub Killer says he's playing awful. I don't think he's playing awful, but apparently Desca Del Hato agrees. <laughs> a little bit of that friendly team banter. Uh, I think uh, he's just got a couple of misses, so maybe eating up Scrub Killer a bit. Yeah, it's just some mistakes that are, I think, being picked up on a little bit better than they had been previously. You know, he's been playing a lot of opponents that weren't doing it, but there, Scrub Killer starts to close this up. Yeah, that was a yeah, perfect placement there from Scrub Killer. And, you know, only one goal difference. Scrub Killer can easily bring this back and, uh, you know, equalize. Oh, for sure. He is in a good place now to, uh, to try and do just that. I think Des is going to try and <laughs> beat him out of it, try and play a bit of waiting game. You know, doesn't want to yeah. go push himself into anything and end up making a mistake since he's in the lead. Yeah, exactly. Every goal is very critical right now. So preserving this lead, just as important as it is for Scrub Killer to try to break it and tie things back up. But, uh... Oh, we'll there's one shot. Final 30! <laughs> and that one goes a little high. Let's follow Scrub Killer around these final 30 seconds. Tries to play it off the wall. Oh, and he goes just too high to get the rebound shot. And a nice clear 
Deska Delgado sends it back down pitch. He's trying to find that opening, but he's going to have to force his hand. There's an opening, though, if he can get to it. But a big stop by Deska Delgado could be the game saver right there. Oh! Oh, my God. But he gets it! <laughs> Scrub killer! Oh, my God. At the last possible second, zero second time, gets the goal right off the front of Deska Delgado's car. We're going to <laughs> overtime. Doesn't get much more evenly matched than this. 5-5 five, is your scoreline. Good delay there by Deska Delgado, but it's not quite enough this time. Oh, man. Well, Scrub Killer yeah. now riding some pretty good momentum. Yeah, I mean, it's getting pretty even now. It looks like it might be in a bit of Scrub Killer's favor at the moment. Oh, big save, but he doesn't quite clear it completely out of the way. A scrub Killer with a nice touch, but it is turned away. This could be a big opening for Deska Delhado. Scrub Killer gets caught up on the wall, and that will do it. First game will go to Deska Delhado. You can see Scrub Killer just get caught up on the wall there, but Deska Delhado takes it all the way down. Oh, that risky little bit of play. Hmm. Well, so, will that come back and, uh, you know, in the end lost it? But, no, it's pretty uh, pretty evenly matched at the moment. Des did start off quite a bit better, I think. Uh, but then Scrub, you know, easily got back on his feet. Or his wheels, should I say. And, uh, no, this should be, a, should be a very close series here. I agree. You know, we, we've already seen just how competitive these two are. And uh, they've really been bringing a very closely matched game. So we'll see if Desca Delgado can close things out here in game two. Or if Scrub Killa can fight back to force a deciding game three. We're coming down to the end of things. Only two more max games left to play. This could, uh, well, oh. this could be a dangerous start. Oh. oh! I'm not sure what the heck happened there. This ball gets shot way downfield off kickoff. Deska Delhado tries to pick it up, but I think it goes off of both he and Scrub Killa. Right into that early goal. But, uh, you know, got to make some kind of defensive play, and he tried, but Des was just there on his, on his tail. Oh, good opening here. Scrub Killer responds very quickly. Really nicely done here. You can see he just gets its dribble right past Deska Delhado, floats it in. So, very nice. Equal scoreline. Very, very early in the game. And a one game advantage, though, for Deska Delhado. So, Scrub Killer has to win two in a row here to take the finals. Might be easier said than done, but we will find out. Yeah, it's definitely looking uh, closer than it was at the start of the last game. It's good to see. But uh, again, anyone could take this game. And indeed, the series. Could be nice little bit of dribbling by Deska Delhado. Tries to get it further up there. But cannot quite do it. Oh, and he kind of helps ease that <laughs> one in. <laughs> Scrub killer. There, didn't he? Patience yeah. was key there. Made exactly. sure it went in. Made sure it went in. <laughs> Just helping out. So 2-1. Lead going now to Scrub Killer. Still a ton of game left to play. Over four minutes. Yeah, yeah I think uh, they're taking, I think both players are being a bit more careful in their sets of approach. Oh, and, except for uh, right there, and that's where Scrub Killer <laughs> extends his lead further. So he is doing all he can to force this game three. It'll be a very competitive game. Let's follow Deska Delato around a little bit here off this kickoff. You can see him. He slows it down, times it out a little bit better. Does manage to win that kickoff, but he whiffs on that aerial. That leaves a big opening for Scrub Killer, who will just tap it straight downfield. That is rough. A big whiff there, and here comes Scrub Killer. Just sees his opening, 
literally sends it all the way downfield to extend his lead even further. Well, it was close. And now it's 4 1. <laughs> and now, as I say that, it's 4 2. <laughs> I, mean, just, uh, I don't know, man. Everything I say, something the opposite happens. <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah. that's how this works. So, nicely done off the kickoff. Had a bit of a friendly conversation, these two. Yep. Hey, you know, they're <laughs> teammates, so. <laughs> Approach from Scrub Killer. Yep, game coming in a little bit closer. Matalado sends it downfield. Can't quite get it to go in, but at least it's sitting on the blue side of the pitch, so he might get a good chance. There's a nice response to that clear attempt, and he will get the third goal. Well, that was a good reaction. <laughs> I, know. I thought he might take that wide, but he uh, scooped it around quite nicely. It's good to see. <laughs> He's got two new followers for the car. It's worked out. See? That's all you gotta do. Just keep scoring, and people will people will respond. Oh, nice bit of play, but. So they can chat to each other. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, Scrub Killer does manage to sneak that one in. This play comes off the wall, and a nice little bit of touch there. So the lead still grows. And Desca Del Hado has a bit of a harder time now trying to come back from this, but still loads of time. Over three minutes to play. But now if he does things like that... <laughs> well, he's taking up... You know, he's uh, capitalizing on these mistakes, isn't he? <laughs> Des says it's offside, and uh, I agree with right. what the refs did. Oh, well, refs are just not watching this thing. They're letting <laughs> these offside shots go by. I don't get it. And that one, fantastic setup. Off the kickoff. Sends it straight to the corner. Plays it off easily. And extends this lead even further. <laughs> Wasn't ready. Alright, well, we'll take that one back. Yeah, yeah, we've got to, I think we'll have to stop the match now. <laughs> if we wasn't ready. It's only fair. Clearly. Well, I don't know what was going on there, but fortunately, Desca Del Hado got very lucky. <laughs> And coming in to stop that goal. But yeah. it looks like this one is in really good control for Scrub Killer. Probably will end up taking it straight through. Yeah, I think uh, I think he's I think both players are relaxing a little bit. Both because they know that, you know, it looks like Scrub's gonna get this game. Yeah, a little relaxed, they're continuing their banter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they are Desca Del Hado has excellent awareness to avoid those uh, demolitions. So, nicely done there at least. But a good stop there by Scrub Killer to extend his lead even further. Yes, I, think, uh, I think it's pretty certain now. Des has got his win, so <laughs> he's uh, letting them have one, obviously. Which is, you know, fair play, good sportsmanship. Yeah. You get one, you get one back. That's, that's really how it works. Now, next game, he gets one. <laughs> and, uh, you know. Ah, so your money's on Des to win, is it? Ah. <laughs> you know, I don't really know. This has, been, this has actually literally been a very evenly fought competition. And uh, this particular game just seems to be way ahead of, uh, of Desca Del Hado, But I don't necessarily think it's inherently bad. Oh, there's a wall shot. He blew it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't concede but, from it there, so it wasn't all bad. Yeah, got lucky. Oh, good touch off the save. Oh, oh that, that was lovely. a nice follow up. Oh. oh, but it goes a little too high. That should have gone in. Could be a big opening here for Desca Del Hado. He misses the shot on that rebound. Those are going to be the things that will come back to bite him in game three is whiffing on what should be relatively easy shots on a wide open net. Yeah. You know, picking think, up uh, those rebounds are just it's real sloppy. Yeah. I mean sometimes it just uh you know you think someone's gonna go for a hit and you go for the block. 
but they end up just missing it. So you just look like a fool as you just trail past past <laughs> the ball and no one ends up touching it. So yeah. Cheeky freestyling going on now, I think. A little bit. Apparently it works, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well at least back it into the net. Still four goals difference. Thirty two seconds to play. So that second game will almost certainly go to Scrub Killer and we will be one final game to decide this tournament. <laughs> oh <laughs> Well, three goals. That, that works. <laughs> They won't uh, know if it's best of five. Or best of it, it is best of three. Best of five is then best of three was fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, best of is, three. This is definitely best of three. Every round is best of three in this tournament. So we will be going to a deciding game three here in just a few. I think they have basically resigned themselves <laughs> to the fact that this game is done. So fair enough. We'll see what the actual final scoreline is. Fourteen goals in. Right. Saying that, but Black Ops Three is already out. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I what doing. you wouldn't think uh, this was a finals, but uh, yeah. competitive nature. That's what happens when you get uh, when you get teammates in the same tournament. Yeah, that's it, right? Well, not much to uh, say about this moon other than the banter. Yeah, it's, it's all just really kind of winding down now. We're going to head to a game three in just a few moments. Well, a few seconds. About ten seconds, give or take. Well, <laughs> that would have been lovely if I scored that. Well, Scrub Killer looks like he's taking this one. He will indeed. They're going to play out zero second, at least for a little bit. But there you have it. Game two. We'll go to Scrub Killer. And now, final game is coming up here. I'm having fun. I hope everybody's having fun. Having fun. The last game of the evening. Yeah, final game of the stream. And then we will be all done for now. Well, he says that he's got dinner, and yet he's still not reading up. <laughs> Maybe he's biding his time. I guess he's not hungry then. Well, he better pick up the pace. At least he did it at the last second. Thank goodness for that. So here we go. One final game. Both players, again, from the Smokin' Rockets team. Yes, you're completely done. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is, you're disqualified. That's it. <clears throat> so here we go. Deciding game. Let's see which of these two Smokin' Rockets members can pull off the win. And there's a big demolition by Scrub Killer. Could he get this, though? No, I don't think the timing was quite right. He decided not to commit to it. Smart play. Yeah, I think he's just, uh... You know, don't want to take the risk. I think they're actually going to play properly, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, they got one game left. They're going to try to make it count. And that was almost an own goal from Scrub Pillar, there. But, uh, it was. I don't know how, if that was deliberate at all, if he was just trying to float it over his goal and it looked a little closer than it probably should have gotten, but... Oh, what a key demo there. Again, takes him out before he can actually get a shot off. That would have been a goal. Well, nil nil. One minute almost. That's a sign of a close game to come with. A bit of low scoring game, but, you know, see how it goes. Oh, a nice little floating shot, but Disco Del Hato will turn that aside pretty easily. Oh, the dribble is coming from Des here. <laughs> They're looking all right, but, he, but he's flicking the ball in the air far too early. <laughs> Plenty of time for Scrub Killer to respond to that. Oh, that was actually, that was almost pretty good. He bit on what he thought would be a flick up into the air, 
but it ended up not going that way. Nice little mid-air turnaround there. And they're both playing the uh, patient game here. They are. We're coming down to the uh, to the halfway mark of this game, and still nothing on the board. But here's an opening for Desga Delhado and Scrub Kill. It quickly gets in front of it, turns it aside. Three minutes to play. Clean sheet so far. Oh, but there, breaking it. Scrub Killer flicks it off of the back of Desca Del Hado's car. We can watch this one more time. Catches it right there and arcs it straight into the net. So, nice goal to start things off very early. 1-0 yes. is your scoreline. Quite late into the game as well. Three minutes left. Uh, only 1-0. But yes. uh, I think Des is going to come back here. Flying colors. <laughs> well, here's his chance. He's got a good opportunity if he can take that off of the front of his of Scrub Killer's car, but he actually ends up setting up Scrub Killer pretty nicely. A little too fast, though. Yeah, I think they're picking up the p pace now. Especially with Des, anyway. Trying to get that goal back. Doesn't want to stay 1 0 down for too long. Absolutely. And there's a good opening. Oh, but it's a little too slow to react to it. Oh, and he does manage to tie things up. Scrub Killer whiffs on the save. So 1-1 one, one is your scoreline. Half the game done. Looks like uh, Scrub's getting a bit antsy now. Trying to get some uh, good hits here. But Des takes it around oh, him. Big and, uh, overcommit. Like doesn't it? Indeed it does. <laughs> Scrub Killer commits a little too hard on this attempt to take it off of Desga Del Hado, and he just is able to ride it straight down. Easy stuff. Looks back. So exciting. They're right there, excited for that final. <laughs> you know the game is almost over. <laughs> I can't quite tell who they're rooting for, but I do know they want exciting Rocket League. <laughs> Oh, big opening here for Scrub Killer. Cannot get it back on point. Oh, he tries the pool shot. <laughs> that doesn't work out. I don't know if that was uh, intentional for Des to try and get in the way there, but it kind of works in terms of defense. Nice shot on goal. Scrub Killer turns it aside. Might have an opening here if he can get it past one more time, and he cannot do it. So this 1-2 lead might be a little insurmountable. 3-1 now. And this game is almost over. Something, uh... Scrub's going to have to pull something out here if he wants to catch up. So expect yeah. him to start getting a bit quicker to the ball. Maybe getting a bit more impatient. If he tries to desperately get a goal. Yeah, but really Desi is clearly uh, being a bit more patient with his, with his gameplay. Doesn't want to make any risks and he wants to keep his lead. Yep, hanging back, playing a little more defensively, just securing the lead he already has. Still setting some nice shots and there's a distance one that all but secures game three. That might be all she wrote in this final game. Oh, and that strategy didn't work out quite well. But at least it didn't go in. So far. Okay, now... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, so much for that. Yeah, this uh, this series looks like it will be going completely to Desga Del Hado. Final minute of play. It's going to be mighty hard to pull out four goals here in this final minute. But a good showing by Scrub Killer. Oh, and that huge save, but Scrub Killer responds. Well, he uh, was typing, so he didn't get a chance to uh, you know, go for the kickoff, but there you go. They're just happy that they're, you know, they're both in the final. So. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, Smoke and Rockets would definitely walk out of this tournament as the champions. It's just a matter of which member, and it looks like Desga Del Hado will be the one to seal the deal, despite following Scrub Killer throughout a good portion of this tournament. He's just had a very difficult time here in this final game, really getting his groove and responding to the shots 
that Desga Delhada was putting on net. So this tournament will be done in about 15 seconds, give or take. I still believe. Let's hope alive. Three goals <laughs> in 10 seconds. The dream. <laughs> I've got to believe. <laughs> One goal a second. Quick. Okay. Uh -huh. Score now. Three times in zero seconds. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. Game three and the tournament will go to Denska Del Hado, your winner of the ESL Aerial Cup number two. So, that is your tournament in a nutshell. Glad we could be a part of it. Let's yes. pop back into our webcam view. We will always support you, Smoking Rockets. <laughs> well, there you have it, oh. folks. That is it. Your tournament is done. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to wrap up here, so I have to pop out of that. But, uh, yeah, so that's it. Yes. Tournament done. Hope you had a good time watching this Aerial Cup 1v1 tournament. Uh, tomorrow, again, I will be shoutcasting the 2v2 Midweek Madness ESL Tournament alongside Cool Cole, so don't miss that. And then Thursday, the Nordic Cup Tournament. Don't know if I'm casting that with anybody, but it will be being cast, so there you have it. So, anyway, I think that's going to do it. I had a good time. How did you have a good time? Did you, or did you have a good time? Oh, I had a great time. That was good. <laughs> I like that. That was really fun. <laughs> well, I'm glad I can could... appreciate how difficult it is now, because that... <laughs> Casting isn't easy. That, that's, that's hard to always have something to say and real often you just make it seem so natural. So I have a newfound respect for what you do, Sheltis. But well, yeah, thank thanks, you for, thanks for having me uh, cast with you. I had a lot of fun. It was really good. Absolutely. Yeah, any time. Yeah. Well, I had Definitely. a great time. I hope you all watching had a great time, but that is it. I'm going to wrap up this ESL Aerial Cup number two broadcast. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you folks next time.